This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 605 Tuesdays. We've been celebrating professional wrestling here, live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. And we're post-rumbled and roiled and um, something like that. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, we got a big crew with us tonight. Um, of course, we have over, if I got my cameras right, we got Larry in the studio with us. Hello. Larry doing layer things, or as we like to know now as hashtag Girthquake <laughs> after last week's episode. Thank you, Matt Light. Thank you, thank you, Matt Light, for new nicknames. Uh, <laughs> also son with of a us, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> also with us uh, remotely. He is fresh from he is fresh from a uh, uh, takeover in Philadelphia. It is Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. And welcome to the XFL. Oh, oh, there's that too. There's that oh. too. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez delete uh, delete, delete. <laughs> i have i have questions about takeover and and things uh later and we will get to those as you're, you're showing off his nice t-shirt the i was there I t-shirt look at that right there the the t-shirt with friend of the show johnny gargano that's right, right johnny bananas uh, you Johnny know, bananas the beat knees the whole shebang the cat's pajamas i had flag <laughs> pants himself i i, I screen capped it i have a had a tweet prepared because i knew i was on on delay for takeover and i had a tweet prepared um uh, congratulating friend of the show johnny gargano and now he's going to celebrate with a power ranger birthday party and i had like a gif of, of power rangers dancing oh, no. and i had to delete it <laughs> i was so sad <laughs> but anyways also with us you heard the oh no's and the the sadness of bobby fj town and johnstown pa <laughs> what's that commentary commentary yes how you doing bobby it was a bad day, but I'm ready to talk wrestling. That's I'm, right. <laughs> I'm over today. That's right. And also with us is Billy Johnson with us. He came all the way from West Virginia Billy. once yeah. again. Billy. West Virginia. Now, sorry, did you say, did you mean big and like you got all the big guys in the studio or this is really a big show? It's a big, big shoe. It's a big shoe. <laughs> yes, that's. <laughs> Of course. And also, our uh, guest, uh, our headline guest for uh, this week is, whoop, there, there, nope, nope, there, Jay Cooper joining us, comedian Jay Cooper, who I shared the, the airways of uh, River's Edge with a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely. It was good to hang out with and you. And now that I'm on the show, I got to introduce myself, because you didn't introduce myself right, so I got to do it right. Oh. Because this is Wrestling Mayhem, I got to do it real good. Because, and trust me, I've been practicing this for a long time. See, you're in the presence of Jay Cooper, the man of the hour. The master of disaster, the electromagnetic, aerodynamic, the non annoyant, and so flamboyant comedian that anyone has ever seen. The number one guy, everyone's favorite bro. And I'm just telling you that I'm here and I'm happy to be on the Mayhem Show. Wow. That's right. Can, can we Damn. Oh, I, wow. Man. Just dropping some Dr. Seuss. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't gotten thrown oh, down like did. that since uh, Larry Sweeney yelled at me for not introducing him correctly. <laughs> do we even need to go on with the show after that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. We'll, we'll see, see you, you guys next week. week. Mayhem out. Uh, anyways, no, thank you for joining us. It was great. Again, it was great uh, 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 being with you on River's Edge. We were talking about the uh, the uh, 12 year birthday party uh, a yes. few weeks ago here. And I was like, yeah, this guy's got to get on the show and talk wrestling with us. So uh, thanks for joining us. Hey, happy to be here, man. Happy uh, to be here. And, uh, and I think, I've, oh, and producer Missy's here too. Hi. I, remember I remembered you. you. <laughs> Yay. Uh, keeping us straight, making sure I uh, don't ignore you guys in the chat room. And thanks for everybody who is joining us in the chat uh, live every uh, Tuesday night. Uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on our Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem show. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, uh, Dave, Alex Miller, and uh, so many others hanging out. Brandon, of course, from all across the country. I know there's several of you on the West Coast, uh, the Middle Coast, and uh, everywhere in between. 
And, of course, right here in Pittsburgh. Yes, the Middle Coast. I said it. I'm inventing coast, damn it. It's my show. It's my America. That's my <laughs> State of the Union. Are they Michigan? Michigan? <laughs> they, that's there, the North Coast. Lakes. That's the, the North Coast. There's a coast on the Mississippi River. Lakes. That's right. There you go. In the middle. Thank you. And I think one might country. be on it if my math is correct. Uh, but anyways, uh, check us out there, of course, every Tuesday, like I said. And you can hit us up uh, at that email address. Good times. Good, times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or the email, or I'm sorry, you can call us on our hotline, 412-206-WMS0 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, as well as subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Podcasts, and video versions on the Facebook and uh, YouTube page for Wrestling Mayhem Show after the fact. Also, thank you to our Patreon supporters patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show literally helping us keep the lights on here in the studio these days uh thanks to our fan of the show dollar level patrons Bo diggity Woo! Woo! ed burke and buffy fj town as well as the that five easy. <laughs> it's easy to, to, to be a patreon over at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show and also thanks to our pocket club five dollar level uh these guys get the uh a mayhem show gold where we heard about how uh, rvd tried to kill jay cooper um <laughs> good times man. good times good times, good times. <laughs> good times. Uh, thank you to our friends at occupy pro wrestling and christopher bishop and thank you hey he's here on the couch as well at the ten dollar pizza club level i'll give you the state of the show personally after the show since you're here uh is is billy johnson oh, i appreciate that as you can see i like pizza so i mean i there might as well go. be a pizza club member. pizza here part of the pizza club slice club represent um and of course thank you to our streaming partner the, the 405 media.com uh streaming there you can fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem at midnight <laughs> eastern time every night at the 405 media.com uh 9 p.m eastern uh, uh, pacific time get my time zones right that's right <laughs> which coast is that sort <laughs> That's the middle coast. That's the the left coast. That's the left coast. We're the right coast. That's the blurst coast. The the what coast? The blurst coast. Sure, sure. Well, now that geography mayhem's over. I can invent words. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways. uh, But anyways, so there was... Did you guys hear there was a wrestling show this weekend? Was there? Uh, there Can you understand? Several. Several, was there? There were... There yeah. were a few. No there, kidding. There was a Royal Rumble this past weekend. There were two Royal Rumbles. Mm-hmm. I and so so much rumbling happened. There was also a Royal Rumble event. Yes, there's also the event. First of all, as as you guys know, as I posted on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group, um, I, I asked for your thoughts on the Royal Rumble, aka a good night for Japan. Uh, because I like that. By because the way, I just wanted to I'm, say I'm that. so excited for Wrestle Kingdom 34, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Wrestle Kingdom 34 is gonna be great. I'm gonna go to fine. it. It's in New Orleans. <laughs> But no, it was so. Uh, what do you guys think? Well, let's let it's the, the men's rumble. This is kind of the the level that we're used to, right? There's no weird gimmicks around it. We just had a nice 30 man rumble. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, Roman Reigns didn't win, so it's yeah, a victory it's a for everybody. They didn't so. get booed out of the building in uh, Philadelphia again, right? Ray Mysterio didn't get booed out of the building, yes. Everybody was very happy to see Ray Mysterio. Yeah. I'm very happy. I, don't, so I need to know something first. Yes. How the fuck did he escape that dungeon? I know, right? Well, okay, How for did those, he escape? Those that might not be in the loop, on Lucha Underground, the last we saw Ray Mysterio, he was in a dungeon locked up. Well, he must have was there, was wow. there an Arctic fox that showed him the way out? <laughs> Spoiler alert! That's, that's, that's a that's a Last Jedi reference, y'all. <laughs> I think it's out on Blu-ray soon, right? That means we can set, talk about that kind sure. of stuff. Okay, all right. I didn't spoil anything about the plot at all. I no, just said it was Ar Fox that showed him the way out. Ar <laughs> <laughs> Fox! Oh my God! And he is yes, Bobby. That is canon now. That is canon. <laughs> Chris Joseph, I hope you're listening. Ar Dick Fox. We know you listen, Chris. <laughs> we actually do know you listen. So, um, yes. anyways, uh, but, no, no, but so it was a nice rumble. Like I was surprised. Typically, we get to about halfway through, and then we have a clean out. We had yeah. no clean out on this one. Like the ring got full. I mean, I feel and like they save that for the women's rumble. I feel like sure. they could have brought in more nostalgia, you know wrestlers for the rumble mm-hmm. um hurricane was like that was amazing that was like man <laughs> that 
That was amazing. That was fun, though. I'm I mean, with, I'm with you. There. I was excited for a second, but then he did. He, I, I was like, he's gonna go for that choke slam he, crap, and I'm like, uh, you do this every time you come in a rumble and you get thrown out every mm-hmm. time. And he didn't even wear the cape this time, so that that kind of you know bothered yeah, me a little bit. He didn't even he's wear the cape. He's kind of got this alt hurricane outfit now. Yeah, he had to squeeze into that. Obviously, did you see his stomach? <laughs> My God, he well, almost choke slam. He hasn't that's dressed that's like the hurricane. That's oh. after going into the lake of reincarnation. Oh, that's, what yeah. that's why. That's why. Yeah, because last I knew, that's he was happened. managing people on TNA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he had the Helms Dynasty or whatever it was, but then they fought the Hardys, and he fell into the lake of regeneration and came back as a hurricane. That Helm Dynasty did not go anywhere or do anything. I would never put my name on anything that didn't like excel in wrestling. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that was just bad. I don't even remember who the other guy was. Like everybody knows. The one, Trevor um, Lee. Yeah. Who was the other guy? I just remember it was the other guy that he faced here for Super Indy. <laughs> See, we had to think about it, though. Oh, who was it? Yeah, who was it? Was it, um, what, what the hell was his name? Well, for, first of all, the only one here Andrew that was. Andrew Everett. Yeah, Bobby Cott. Uh, yeah, that's it. The, that's only, it. the only one here that was actually regularly watching Impact for any period was Mad Mike. So. Yeah, and, and I don't even remember. Yeah. That's how yeah. memorable he they were. kind of blocked that part out. He's taking the bullet for all of us. Super Indy. Yeah. You know what? It's great. They took a certain CD home. What? Wait, what? What did they take home, Bobby? They, they took a certain CD home and listened to it on the way, o- way back home. What? Sorg remembers. Oh, B-Rax? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's weird. That Okay, there's a guy that comes to local shows. He's a rapper, and he gave his CD to like a lot of the wrestlers. Oops, somebody was waving at you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Oh, that's interesting. I, I'm not up. Okay, okay. Tina, uh, Tina's asking about New Japan uh, and and its implications for All In. Um, I I think we're jumping a little bit, but uh, I am not finished with New Japan from the weekend because they had two freaking shows on top of the two WWE shows I was trying to watch. Um, so I'm about like halfway through the second day, but I do know. Um, I do know that uh, uh, Kenny Omega out of Bullet Club. He is all out. Yeah, I heard he got kicked mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Hashtag all out. Hashtag and then he out. lost the belt to, who was that dude? Jay White? Did he lose it to Jay White? Damn it, spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Ah. Well, the match Maybe will be Elite might have been the best uh, wrestling thing over the weekend, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am the king of is spoilers. It's crazy. Like, what? Oh, well, I'm not watching them live. Like, like, I, like I go on, Wik- I went on Wikipedia just to look up. I'm Because every month. You know, we keep seeing stuff on um, WrestleZone and all the other wrestling sites saying that so-and-so has left Impact Wrestling. So I went on Wikipedia just to see well, who's still on the roster. Like, right, and right. it's like, <laughs> and like most of these guys are gone and they're on a two-month tape delay. So I'm watching them on Thursday nights and I'm like, okay, you're gone, mm-hmm. you're gone, mm-hmm. you're gone, <laughs> you left. It's crazy. And I just, I don't want, I don't want to spoil it. It was telling me. I, I feel bad for you watching Impact. It, it was telling when I, I talked about um, like two weeks ago about our friend of the show, RJ City, was on Impact Explosion. And I was like, oh, or, uh, t- yeah, Impact Explosion. Um, whatever the hell that show is. And, and I was like, I think I'm going to, you know, I think I'm going to try to watch TNA, at least see him. And he says, big mistake. And I was like, yeah, you were right. <laughs> so if they just put in, if they put Explosion as a second show mm-hmm. on, the, well, first of all, they got to leave Pop TV. They got to leave Pop TV. Okay. They, I, I don't think they, they have any other options. No, no, no. They are on. One, they're on. We talked about Space TV. And, on they Twitch. Are, yeah. and they're on Twitch now. So to the point where the barbed wire match on that, that was not on Pop TV. Right. It was on Twitch after that. So I think you're being able to view the newer shows are, are pretty much not Pop TV. Like you, these other services, the GW uh, uh, TV thing, GWN. The Global Wrestling Network is where yeah. I, that's where I watch it because Explosion's on there for free. And then two weeks back on on Impact is also. And hey, it's tape delayed for two months anyway. So who cares if you watched it week of, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if you're just like, it's something you just want to watch some wrestling. I mean, same with Ring of Honor. Like this stuff's from like a month, two months ago. Why am I, why do I care to watch this week's edition, you know, every week? I can just kind of catch a couple of them right right so i i think it's you know and 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 mike i think we've had this discussion kind of makes them feel like the lesser feds but they are right they're not wwe right i I mean ring of honor is better than impact i'm sorry Mm -hmm. oh absolutely better better in ring um and 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 my problem with impact after trying to watch it here a couple weeks ago is it's just dull 
Yeah. It just But but I still watch it though because I am a fan of wrestling. Like there's right. a lot of people who say, mm-hmm. Oh, um, you know, I just watch WWE. If you watch WWE only, mm-hmm. then you can't call yourself a wrestling fan. You just call yourself a WWE fan. That's what I tell that's people. That's a good that's a good indication. Okay, because yeah, I'm have, a pro wrestling yeah. fan. I watch all kinds of wrestling. Mm-hmm. Women's wrestling, midget wrestling if I can find it, cheap basement wrestling. Like what was that wrestling that came on back in the nineties? What was it called? Um XPW or or uh, <laughs> something like that. It used to come on late at night, like at like at one o'clock in the morning. Well, ECW did. But uh, it was like it was like a version of ECW. It used it to come on like real late. Yeah, there was at like night. an XPW. That was and, like and Shane it, Douglas, and it had thing, some right? dude. He, his name was like Larry Lanera or something like that. And he was like this <laughs> Puerto Rican dude, and he was just really funny with commentary. I don't know. I want to so, find whatever the hell you're talking about. It, was, <laughs> it used to come on like late at night in the '90s. Tarantula was like one of the top guys in the company. Oh, Steel City Wrestling. They had a show back then. I think like a PWX. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, Maybe yeah. That's what it was. I think they had TV locally around there. Yeah. So because T Ranchel is still, oh, he's teamed up with the guy we were talking about before, Jester. So I'm, I, <laughs> I actually met him one time at a funeral. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Wait, wait, wait. The next follow-up wait, question. Wait, did he kill the guy? <laughs> no. Also, was he in a mask or something? No, he had no mask. He was sitting in the back oh, by no himself mask. wearing all black. And he does not. He didn't have the long hair no more. He was a little fatter. And I was just like, dude, I know him from somewhere. He's a wrestler. <laughs> and then my boy was like, he ain't nobody I ever saw before. I was like, he's not one of the big guys. Like, he, you know, like his biggest TV moment was when he got rock bottom by The Rock. Back in '97 on Shotgun Saturday Night, that was like his biggest moment. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of those. Some of those. Some of those guys still wrestle here in the area. Like yeah. That, so I just, so. So I just walked him. I just walked up to him at the funeral, and I was like, "Dude, did you used to be Tarantula?" And he was like, "Yeah." Like he was... <laughs> oh no. He's like, "Let me mourn." Right. <laughs> Oh, that was a crazy funeral. That's Don't almost get me like that's almost that. like there was a there was a message the other day from our friend Bradley that's that's been a part of some of the shows here recently. It says, uh, "Don't fanboy a, a wrestler in the bathroom." And I feel like the funeral yeah. home is 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 on that line. Too. O- only if it's like a big like if it's at the wrestling show. Yeah, yeah. Then you can like bro talk about wrestling and stuff because there's like a whole bunch of in guys the bathroom. Yeah, well, you know, because we're you know like intermission. You could talk about it yeah, for a second. Not, yeah, yeah I know. guess so. I guess so. But that's it. Not in the bathroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to the Rumble. Uh, Rumble happened. Nakamura. We're set up for AJ and Nakamura. So welcome to uh, Wrestle Kingdom two years ago. It's going to be amazing. Um, so, do you know what my least favorite part of the male Rumble was? What's that? That Elias got eliminated? No. Um, so we do a raffle for uh for the mayhem crew yes um everyone was assigned numbers um my number my numbers were 11 and 21 yeah who'd you Um, get which which i I thought was gonna be good Mm -hmm. uh i got seamus and the hurricane what's wrong with that oh (laughs) they were in for a combined less than 21 seconds those are respectable entries who who won that yeah yeah who who Who? bobby Who? who I get a copy of Bragging Rights on DVD. Missy, do you know who won it? I feel like we should have pancakes right now. Like, we should. We need a pancake sponsor for this show. That's what. What's up? What's up, Benny? Send us some pancakes. Slice on pancakes. This quick. This quick. As long as it'll come out of somebody's tights, I'm good. Uh, anyways. Uh, but no, uh, and then we had the women's battle, uh, Royal Rumble. Sorry, uh, with again, Oscar won that one. We uh, that was your nostalgia play, though. Right? I, I will say that the women's that Rumble it far exceeded my expectations yeah. because if, when you when when you saw it, like they showed only seventeen women, so I'm like, well, who is the other thirteen? And you know, and some of those women who came back who we haven't seen in like ten years, mm-hmm. yo, they still got it, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Molly Holly yeah. looks hot still. Alicia Fox got hurt the day of the rumble too. Yeah, yeah poor yeah. Alicia Fox. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Like that, I, it, well, Molly Holly's still training at uh, the academy. Uh, Mr. Mr. Anderson's uh, uh, 
wrestling school. Okay, because she so looks she's still training. great. She's still doing matches here and there, I know. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, Tori, Tori Wilson's still a fitness, you know, uh, we, we could have done something. We could have did without her. And, you know, honestly, I don't know if she had plastic surgery or something. or I, don't, there, I didn't recognize her face. There great. was a certain point. Oh, oh yeah, there's that, that yeah. happening with her, too. There's a certain point where um, between the Kelly Kelly and the Tori Wilson and a few other of the old scores, we just realized, like, oh, wait, we, we started mixing up who was who. And realize yeah. that's exactly like it was ten years ago, where yeah. it was just mm-hmm. like a bunch mm-hmm. of blondes, a, bo- a whole bunch <laughs> of girls who same. didn't know how to wrestle I, worth a damn, but they got all the pay per view matches and all mm-hmm. that. You know, just and, I did oh. have one question about the women's rumble. Why did anyone feel the need to put Michelle McCool over that much? Because she's good. She got the mo- she got the most eliminations in that match. Well, when you're Mrs. Undertaker, you kind mm-hmm. of. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you didn't you hear the Undertaker chance when she got in the ring? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just... Yeah, that I don't think that's appropriate. Sure it is. Well, why not? No, sure it is. So. Come on. I don't, I don't think it is. She's I Mrs. mean, they put, Undertaker. they put Lana in there and she can't wrestle worth a She's, damn. What is how it? many times she have she how, how many Lana times have she been trained? Rusev. Also, also, she's the devil's favorite sister in law. <laughs> 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 I, like I can't remember uh, who said that that I can credit from the party. <laughs> that's cute. I like that. <laughs> uh, but you know, but no, like it was just like, wow, she's getting the cane spot in this thing, and it's always like, yeah, she's the devil's favorite sister in law. So but, but you it know made what? Absolutely sense. But you know what? My favorite entry in the women's rumble, hands down, Vicky Guerrero. Oh, yes. I did yes. not that see that awesome. coming. I did not see that coming. Did Vicky anybody else just get worried? We're like, oh, God, they got to put her over the top rope. Will and she I be thought, okay? I thought she was going to break her cankles when they dropped her. I was like, holy shit, man. Let her down <laughs> gently, man. <laughs> That's a good point from Matt Carlin's in the chat room and here in the studio. Uh, but we can chant Rusev Day at Lana. Lana, yes. yeah. Lana does Rusev Day chants herself. Okay. Yeah. Michelle, yeah. McCool, Michelle McCool has never been associated with The Undertaker on screen. No, no, and she don't need yeah, to. But you don't no, have to be but this is Philadelphia. People this is know they're married. No, but, but like that, that's why I didn't say anything for Bree because Bree basically appropriated all of Daniel Bryan's ch- chants and taunts and stuff. I want. Can but we get? I don't know. I, can we get a show on E for uh, Total Taker? <laughs> no, that I is. don't want that. I don't want that at all. I mean, I just want to. I mean, it's going to be like Hogan knows best, where you just like. Yeah, every but people th- would actually watch it though. Yeah, yeah they, like. <laughs> But like I, think they, I feel like they'd be really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, well, I don't yeah, want I don't hey, want him to do it. When when I, I, when he, I wakes so, up, he, he wakes up in the morning with his eyes rolled in the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, yeah, but what made him roll his eyes back? Hey. He's not a morning person. Was he getting some morning <laughs> hello? Well, we saw Michelle McCool in a rumble. We know what we know why he sleeps like that. She yep. is a flexible woman. <laughs> No, she just, still got it. I was just thinking, like H- Hogan knows best. Completely, like d- broke down every thought you had about Hulk Hogan as your American yeah. hero growing up, right? Broke down like, his marriage too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, just thinking like the oh, let's see, take her out of character. Yeah, uh, but anyways, <laughs> remember when he tried to sell the, like the George Foreman girls what? knockoffs on Hogan knows best? Oh yeah, yeah, and tried energy. to sell like an knock off George Foreman girl. It's, it's well, like, supposedly it was supposed to be Hulk Hogan's grill first. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was supposedly. hard to put Hogan's face over George, you know, just didn't look Man, right. Could you imagine <laughs> could you imagine all the the red and yellow grills that we would all have? My mine was red. Actually. One that you would have. I would never buy that was shit. <laughs> I would never buy <laughs> I would never buy a red and yellow grill. No, yeah. Never. S- speaking of TV shows, I wonder if we're gonna get a uh twenty four seven report on Kane and his his mayoral run. Uh, with him being mm-hmm. being toppled over with the uh, backstage area and going through tables. <laughs> yeah, is that still happening? Our mayor. Our, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it happening? First of all, we can see the ad now. Our mayor, our mayoral candidate can overcome adversary, adversity. <laughs> and it shows like Braun like, dumping things on him. No, not only is that still happening, um, there is actually a Brothers of Destruction reunion coming up. Um, yeah. Well, he really needs this event. money for this campaign, so, don't yeah, he? Because they just keep putting him in the main event. And I'm like, why is Kane being put back in matches? Yeah, it, Sympathy it, vote. Apparently. Glenn Jacobs apparently, will yes, never be upstaged. That, that's, you guys, that's why Rhino won the SmackDown tag titles. Oh, geez. He's also doing Talk as Jericho live. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, he is uh completely completely taking on all of this. Because uh, you I have, don't know if I, I don't know if I want to support King King from Mare, though, Sork. No, well, it's his, Jacob's... his refusal to go to a local medical facility last night <laughs> shows me he does not believe in government health care. His disrespect to the medical, medical staff. Facility. Yes, but no, Michael Cole called at a hospital last night for the first time ever. So, <laughs> so if you go to Jacobs for Mayor's uh, uh, Facebook page, you will see Jacobs for Mayor presents Kane and the Undertaker. I love how they showed a picture of how he looked back in 1998. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, that was when he was looking his best. No, oh, yeah. is, he mean, gonna now, pull, is he going to pull a Superman and like run into a phone booth to like change into his mayor yeah, suit afterwards? Yeah, or? Put, put that outfit back on because what he wore at the Rumble, I mean, well, first of all, you, you could see the, the stomach sticking through the tights. His nipple was poking out. Did you see his nipple <laughs> sticking out when he was I fighting? Slip. <laughs> Don't nobody want to see a ginger nipple? The poor guy, the, <laughs> he is, this man is 50 years old, <laughs> first of all. Got to respect him. I That's wanna, it? Just he's, 50? He's just 50. Um, that he's doing that and can move like that at 50 years old. For a guy his size, is still impressive. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I mean, absolutely. I'm, I don't know about main event of uh, Royal Rumble, but... If he's trailing in the polls like two, mu- two months ago, does he does he campaign the last two months as Kane? You might as well, right? <laughs> I'm just thinking back, like, oh my God, the first time I ever saw him was right here in Pittsburgh at the, the that's where he debuted, actually. Um, that, that first gimmick, that um, Isaac Yankum. Right. Because he took on Bret Hart at SummerSlam 95. So, oh, geez. Yes. So, damn, almost 23 years ago. And he's, wow, that's longevity, man. Got to give it to him. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Got to give it to him. Absolutely. And now he wants to rule K- Knoxville, I guess. Um, Why not? Go for it. Why the hell rule not? Rule Knoxville with an iron fist. Royal Rumble had had some matches. Of course, we did have <laughs> uh, one of the things that went around. This was making some of the sports blogs here today. Uh, did you guys catch when uh, Braun um, need Brock in the freaking head? Hell yeah! And, and the, got and the, yeah. punched the f out. <laughs> oh yeah, he had, yeah. he had to check him. That he had to terrifying. check him for that. Apparently, they caught the audio on it, and uh, it basically, uh, Brock uh, said, "Quote: Slow the fuck down." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is basically, you know, I it, believe it. And, and 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 at least like you know he had to get him. I, I think it was more of a response than anything. And he just gave him a, a that was a that was like um a love tap. I mean yeah, he yeah, punched yeah. him pretty hard, but he could have knocked Braun's ass out, and that would have ruined his whole build up <laughs> and everything. Well, it was going pretty good until Brock decided that he needed to put somebody in their place, and then it just fell apart. Uh, yeah, but but still, you know, the match the match went through and everything. Yeah, it was I mean, it was decent for what it was. Like we knew that Brock was gonna leave the yeah. Rumble as champ. We knew that, and then, of course he had to yeah. beat Kane, so that way he yeah, could be a better build up for say, Braun. Kane had to take that pin. Mm-hmm. You know, Kane, Kane take it was the safest thing they could have done, and it yeah. like it it made it made the whole past month of push suffer. Yeah. I just wish because they would. You could have, you could have just as easily had Braun win the title for a month, lose it in the chamber. Brock doesn't even have to be in the chamber match. Like Brock doesn't have to be in the chamber match. Have Braun take Brock out of the match. Braun pins Kane. We don't hear from Brock until the Monday after Elimination Chamber. Then Roman wins the Elimination Chamber match, and we get. Brock versus Roman at WrestleMania, like they said they wanted anyway. Oh, God, no. Please. Hey, man. No, no that, hey, that's man. what's happening. Oh, that's I, what I think happening. what's going to happen, I think that I think um, Roman is probably going to take on Seth at WrestleMania. That's just, nope. That's really? what I'm, nope. That's, it's just something I'm thinking, because I like the way he threw him out of the Rumble. Like, remember how he just threw him out? Because they were like bros yeah. for a second, and he threw mm-hmm. him out, and they mm-hmm. looked at each other like, bro. And, you know. Uh, Seth, Seth, I, you know Seth is going to face Jason Jordan. Mike, does that mean? That, oh God, I that, hope that's not. That's your mayhem mania pick. That would not be. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> no. Let that only be right. a mayhem mania, mania pick. Do not let that be. All right, all right. Well, we, we at least they, Braun's not letting letting it get him down because as we saw, because these videos for Mixed Match Challenge are amazing. Uh, oh my God, we caught it's him. The best, <laughs> it's the best thing. Right now. It's yeah. the best thing in the world. Braun teaching Alexa how to Alexa Bliss how to uh, flip a car. I'm sorry, everybody with an Amazon Echo. Wait, hey. can I just say, they're human beings in these. <laughs> There's people in there. They're, they're, they are people, like you and me. 
Look no, how tiny it. she is. She is no. all of four. F- what is she like? Five feet, right? Oh, she's, she's like five, tiny. like five feet. I, 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 I a flying squirrel in it. She's probably four eleven. Yeah, yeah. I got to meet her at the at the Arnold a couple years ago, and I just thought she would fit in my pocket uh, because I love, her. I, I love keychain girls. <laughs> like man, this is like just... this is like keychain <laughs> girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably qualifies. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, but we'll we'll get back he to a little bit of NXT takeover uh, here in a moment. But uh, in here in Mike's firsthand experience of that uh, uh, event. But in the meantime, I want to give a shout out to our friends that have been supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the Perfect Pepperoni Pizza for a good long time. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, right here along the tracks here. Uh, in Beachview, and as was called out on Awesome Cast, still the best of them. Uh, so come to the original, the OG Slice on Broadway here in this neighborhood. But you can also check them out at Carnegie and Carnegie PA, uh, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and their new location. I still have not had a chance to pop in there yet in East Liberty. I know the Riz has been enjoying it because that's his neck of the woods where he works at. So, uh, so, so on the four corners of Pittsburgh. And, and outside, I guess. Uh, you can uh, uh, check out our friends at Slice on Broadway supporting us. Big wrestling fans always have a good conversation with them. I know we were talking about you know, who we thought was going to win the Rumble last week. And when I was even picking up the pizza for the Rumble, I, I was on the phone with them uh, talking about uh, their picks for it. So thank you guys for supporting the show and being a part of this and, uh, and, and helping us out and feeding our guests here. So uh, Mike, Mad Mike yeah. went to take over. First I of did. all, first of all, uh, we need to address uh, the elephant in the room. Okay. Because uh, you, wait, sorry, it was a fucking elephant. No, 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 not that one. Uh, oh, okay. It's it's. You were in the same building as Ray Rowe. Yes. And um, Ricochet. Okay, he had better and Ricochet and Ricochet and EC3, y'all. Mm-hmm. Well, I was more um, addressing the that. Uh, uh, EC3 was there. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And, oh, and, and, I knew he was going to sign him. Yeah. <laughs> but well, are they going like to sign him as EC3? Too. Oh, they they had it as EC3 on yeah. his title. Yeah. So oh, okay. now Ricochet cool. was uh what Trevor Ricochet man. Trevor yeah. man. Yeah. 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 But they it was still Ricochets in quotes. Right. Still, so otherwise nobody would have recognized him because I didn't right, right. recognize him. Who's this guy? <laughs> well, yeah, you I was know, like, oh, that. Prince Puma. Yeah, Why didn't you say yeah, so? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so deep cuts. I still, deep cuts. I, I still want his name to be Ricochet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? Ricochet. They might give him an Irish name. They might call him Rick. Yeah. Oh, Shay! Just give like, him Becky Lynch's nice. first gimmick. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or Seamus's first gimmick. Or Finley's uh, first gimmick. That's, that's not awkward at all. Uh, but anyways, Matt, Matt Mike, well, first of all, other than you, um, uh, maybe not meeting with Ray Rowe to get your, your, your what was it, a title shot you wanted from him? Well, he, he, he owes me an IWC t- championship match. Okay, okay. Clearly... That championship is not in his cards anymore. So no, I didn't no, approach no. Ray Rowe because he hasn't officially had a match yet. Okay. But Sorg, the second War Machine win those tag titles. I'm looking for a partner. This is something, and this is something that was called out on the show between Mike and Ray Rowe uh, a few yes. years ago. So just want to point that out. I'll, I'll be your partner. I got a bone to pick with Ray Rowe. There you go. You, you do have history Whoa. with him. Okay. I'm out because he, he wants at an IWC show, lost his cell phone. Oh. And I was scared into helping find it <laughs> just by him looking at me and saying, have you seen my cell phone? I'm like, no, but I'll look. That was a, yeah, the time. Okay, so, so, this, the time so that- his weakness is, is that he doesn't like missing his cell phone. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you. I'm using that as far as my yeah. scouting. Man, Mike, how was <laughs> scouting? How, how was takeover uh, from your personal experience? Not your first takeover. You've been, of course, to I think everyone in Brooklyn. Yes, uh, not my first takeover. However, I took my uh, my lovely girlfriend, and not only was this her first takeover, this was her first wrestling show ever. Oh, wow! Wow! Uh oh! Uh huh. Sounds serious. Sounds- yeah. Yeah, um, you know it's a big step when you take your girl to a wrestling show and she doesn't like. That- Wait, does she like it? Did she? Uh, she was well entertained. Okay. She was well entertained. Uh, she was a little too long, which I mean, we had we had to sit through the NXT. Um, also, like this week's NXT. Also, a good thing you didn't go to the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Yes, or, that, or that's what I mean. That's what I told her. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I, I understand. Wrestle, that. WrestleMania can end relationships. What has she been <laughs> yeah. sitting through a three-hour football game? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, but it was funny. Uh, I got my tickets on StubHub, and I didn't realize they were sweet tickets. Sweet, so, nice. So we we got they one sweet or two sweet? Or, yeah, were they, they two were two sweet? sweet. Two, two, they were two sweet. sweet. Yeah, two sweet. They were two sweet. Yeah. 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 Um, One sweet so I, I had to explain. I had to explain to her while I was making a two <laughs> too sweet sweetie, joke. bro. <laughs> too sweet. That's right. So yeah, but um, it, it was a good show. Uh, it, it was really like um, I thought it wasn't as good as some of the other takeovers. Okay. Personally, uh, the ending. But that is a high bar. I want to say that is a high bar to c- consistently keep up yeah. the way they have the takeovers. I thought the last three matches were amazing, though. Um. Uh, the thing is, the Ember Moon Shayna Baszler match probably played better on TV. It did, yeah, yeah it was than it did in TV. person. Yeah, because in person, it was a lot of rolling around. Yeah, it told a very good story. Really, it told it told, it told a really good story, but the fans in the arena, yeah, were it was getting kinda, a little yeah. bored by it. It's kind of slow, but it was it it built well. Yeah, like I think more. I think most people were expecting Shayna Baszler to like. Just Brock Lesnar the shit out of Ember Moon. Yeah, because I don't think Shayna has a lot of wrestling moves <laughs> yet. But yeah, uh, she got. But yet, but I mean, yet, she's a, she's I mean, in she, the Mae Young Classic. I I feel like out of the matches that she's had, this well, was her worst. I mean, from the May Classic, I just remember her doing a lot of takedowns and submission moves. She's and done she, a lot of she, AIW she, and a lot of interesting stuff up there. They've done intergender, so they've they've had. She has more experience than she's showing. Oh, okay, because you know, yeah, and to give her a title shot that quickly, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. it was fast. Yeah. All right, we just got. By the way, just an update here, Mike. Just uh, for for further, we did just get a cease and desist tweet. Apparently, my producer is telling me. So that's why uh, I said one tweet. So uh, one tweet, me, bro. Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm a former WWE employee. I'm allowed um, tangential use of their copyright. Properties. All right, all right. There you go. There you go. He's he's. he's... I'm not one tweet. What's <laughs> <laughs> as a former employee? Yes. One tweet. Does that mean Jay and I got kicked out of the show? <laughs> oh, you guys are in trouble. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Mike. used to breaking the rules, man. I mean, so. <laughs> why is your podcast not around anymore? Ah, too many too sweet. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, anything else uh, from the show, Mike? Match oh. of the night. Match of Hello? the night. Yes. Yeah, uh, Gargano. That was freaking insane. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is that. That was a hell of a match, man. That is that really which one? Apparently, that's the longest singles match in NXT history. Wow, I believe. Which one it. we talk about? Uh, uh, is Gargano it? and Almas. That was yeah. Was Gargano and Almas like was the longest single match in NXT history. One of those wonderful things where you're like, this match is going long, but I'm okay with this. Yeah, because when I was watching it, I'm you know because I, I watched it late, so yeah, I'm seeing it's the main event, that's- and then I'm looking at the, the the time clock, and I'm like. Wow, they're stretching this thing out. Like yeah, this yeah. is. I'm thinking, what was there is another there, match after is this there a or post something? show or something? That's right? what I was saying. Like, yeah. is there going to be a post interview or something? But you know, they carried it though, and they stretched it out real nice. And I don't know, it was it was a real good match. I, I like the spots with Candice LeRae. Um, I like the en- I like the ending with the dry blood hanging off his bottom lip. Like mm-hmm. I think he bit his bottom lip or something in the yeah. blood, and he was just. And that double knees up against the turnbuckle. I mean, on the outside, on the apron, mm-hmm. that was beautiful. I mean, he sold that. I love, you know, he sold it. things like that where it's just like, okay, I literally have not seen that before, right? Um, yeah. Where I feel like I'm getting that like every month we find out. I, I watch a match where there's literally something I've not seen in the ring before, right? Right. Between like a move like that or, or you know, a couple months ago when they tore up the ring the way they did to end a match in IWC, you know, it's just, you know, things are evolving. Yes. And at WWE shows like this, right? And they're allowed to do that. And and you know what? Kudos to Andrade Cien Amis, man. That dude is the man. I saw him when they did an NXT show um, in Pittsburgh. The one a couple months ago? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was so good. I think he was like in a fatal four-way or mm-hmm. something. Yeah, he's and, a star. And they loved him. Mm-hmm. I loved him, man. Like, I, I looked dead in his face, and I'm chanting Almas and everything. It was beautiful. It was just he, Everybody he, was chanting his name. He was loving it. He came in with a lot of potential because he was a he was a mass wrestler. They they came up with this other gimmick, and I think they were kind of taking the long route of him. You know, okay, we have his character figured out. Just go kick ass, right? right. Go as soon as they turned him heel. Right. Let me tell you something. If you're if you're an ugly Mexican wrestler, 
keep the mask on. But if you're a good looking guy like Andrade, <laughs> you know, we'll give you a lady. It'll be fine. You exactly. Know? We'll give you a, la- a lady in a belt. You're fine. Ooh, a lady. <laughs> and that helped too because his English is not that great. So <laughs> yeah, that worked out perfect. No, no, yeah, a perfect mouthpiece for piece for that kind of thing, and and he can just kind of fly. Yeah, she's um, a good talker too, man. That, that yeah. her time in mm-hmm. her time in TNA must have helped a little bit. You know what I the hell? What the hell was her name in TNA? I can't even Rosita. remember. Rosita. Rosita. That was Rosita. That's right. Wow. That was Rosita. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, I need to bring up Patrick Clark. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh my um, God. And not oh not God. just not just on that show where he came. When he came out as what they called him, um, uh, Velvet Marrow or something. Yeah, Velveteen uh, Dream. Ve- yeah. No. 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 But 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 no. But he came out with the boxing shorts, so somebody made a Mark yeah, Marrow reference. Shorts. So yeah, he came out in Rocky gear. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah he looked like. A, he looked the, like Apollo um, Creed, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Velveteen Creed. You know. hey, because they, earlier they, they they said that he called that. He's like, I'm going to finish this match in 30 seconds or something, right? Right. So, he said he was going to. Well, he said he was going to knock him out in less than 30 seconds, yeah. and we all counted for. Him. He knocked him down, but, but he on didn't top knock of that, out, all I love the three thousand dollar mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> he was that guy holding it? Like that guy was humongous. He's from some some indie promotion. I uh, called him out, so it, it's somebody. Oh, really? It's somebody from like Evolve or something. It was so. a big furry pillow too, which was crazy. <laughs> yeah, was, like was I've really... never seen anybody hold a pillow with a mouthpiece on it. That was beautiful. And I love they had the guy and the girl to yes. completely like yeah. you're still like to have give a him that androgynous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type yeah, of... yeah. You're just like, oh, there's a lady. Oh, but there's a guy. I yeah. uh, <laughs> I love it. It's fun. Um, it was amazing. <laughs> finally, the gimmick that they were that that um, they ever... were thinking about giving and... to Montel Jordan. But yes. Orlando Jordan, but yeah, Orlando, I mean Orlando, Orlando Jordan, Jordan. My fault, Orlando Jordan, and yeah, this one it fit. But on Patrick top of Clark. this match, opponent, go ahead. He, he still had his opponent's face on his tights. Yep, yep, yep. Which, which was amazing again. Oh my god, when he fought Alistair, that yeah. was oh. so. So on top of this, on NXT, on the taped NXT, the two days before was him mm-hmm. and a Gargano. Which again Ooh, we, was amazing. Was really yeah, I'm so sad he got hurt for a few weeks, and we didn't get this the full like bit, right? Right. Like this guy is just turning it in every time he gets a chance, and it's amazing. I I don't think his match with Cassius was the best, though. No, it wasn't. I don't. I don't think it was his fault. But you know but... what? Cassius held his own, though. No, he he, yeah. he 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 carried. Well, I feel like they were they were telling a different story with that, right? He was he was pushing them. Yeah. No, basically. no, yeah, it, it, that wasn't a have a five star match. That's a we're telling this story, right? Cash has Kinda been pushing like, everybody lately. Yeah, he, oh, he's he's the he's the get people over guy easily. Like he's there to he's the um because he did, who did he lose to in the previous NXT? It was um the big dude, right? Yeah, the big um, guy, the um, Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan. Lars, 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 um, and that no. ending was terrible too. He <laughs> barely could pick his big ass up. Remember that? Cash it took two is, tries mm-hmm. before he picked him up and slammed. They just him. put a video out of Cash. It's like this eight minute video on WWE dot com uh, where they just talked about him and being a wrestling genius and all of his experience and everything. So he's definitely the guy. You're not going to see this guy on Raw. He's going to be that guy that hangs out at NXT and helps those younger guys, you know, get over and learn and everything. Like I think he's more coach than character at this point i think he deserves one run in fact oh, i absolutely. would i would really love to see him and cesaro team up you know bring back the old kings of wrestling like back in the ring of honor days that would be so nice for nostalgia purposes there's, just one there's time. actually a match on um the nxt blu-ray set that came out that was cesaro and cassius ono against seth rollins and cm punk Ooh. I think I have that one in. Yeah, it's 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 really fun too. It's to really really out. fun. That's good. I'm glad I'm glad they at least did that for a moment there. So, um, any other thoughts to take over? Uh, How about that chair spot with that? Oh uh, yeah, I was about to bring that up. <laughs> wait, 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 which chair spot? Oh, Adam, on Cole. Adam Cole. Oh, when it looked the like Adam Cole got chairs. broken in half. Yeah. Oh. That whole yeah. match was really good too. Yeah, at, at like, first, yeah, because at oh, first Jesus. glance you're thinking like, okay, it was like his lower back, like his spine got broke or something. But if you watch the tape again, it was just like in between the shoulder blades, like like up top. So I was like, okay, that must have been a soft spot. Mm-hmm. That was easy. For Still him. though, but, but he but but up but like when it was, happened so fast, you're just like, oh damn, he yeah. broke him. Like, 
Yeah, I always worry about those chair, those like standing chair spots like that. Yeah, because I knew I knew so, Alistair wasn't going to take that hit. Matt Matt <laughs> Matt Matt Carlin's is saying he loved the crowd chanting "You deserve it" at Cole. Yeah, well, first yeah. we chanted "You sick fuck" because we turned the chairs around, mm-hmm. and yeah. then as soon as he was the one that ate it, everyone chanted "You deserve it." <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was funny. Uh, Mike, any other kind of weird chants or anything that maybe we didn't catch on TV um, that um, might have been? I, I don't. I don't know if it came through during the pre-show. There was a fuck Tom Brady chant. <laughs> Good. As because, be. because Philadelphia. Yes. Um, and also because Tom Brady. Uh, let's see. Uh, don't be mad. Oh, Philly. everyone. Lo- like, be lucky you're going to the Super Bowl. Everyone went apoplectic for all the people that are at ringside. Like, <laughs> I think I legitimately scared the entire suite when they showed EC3. Oh, yeah. Because I... <laughs> I also went to the bathroom because I didn't see that part. Yeah, it, it, yeah it, it, I almost missed it too. Um, it was like th- right before the main event. Okay. Good to as see. As he should be. Good. Yeah. As and, he and should be. And said EC3 because he goes like this. Oh, he went. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. So, while Royal Rumble was a good night for Japan, I think TakeOver was a good night for Cleveland. Because between uh, Candice and Gargano, uh, your uh, uh, Ray Rowe, Row EC3, EC3, of course, yeah. came out of uh, Cleveland as well. Uh, trained by some friends of the show, a lot of those guys, too. Uh, so it was really cool. I know AIW had a big smile on their face watching all night long. <laughs> so it was pretty good to see. You know, I, Cleveland I was, and Japan, pretty similar. Yeah. I, I was definitely psyched <laughs> to see War Machine <laughs> there and that they actually called them. War Machine. So I'm like, okay, so are they going to keep that name Doing when they bring them in? I and I should have so. known something was up because the following day I was watching Ring of Honor and they lost to Coast to Coast. Mm-hmm. Which also was a great <laughs> And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. okay, wait, they're Coast under- to Coast? Yeah, they really? lost to them. Sorry. Yeah, because it Sorry. was like a if do you, or die you, match. Coast and Coast I've only ever seen like on the pre-shows of Ring of Honor uh, whenever they're in town. So If yeah. you get a chance, watch that match because it was really good. Was it was it? a okay. very good match. Because it, it, really it, it was a do or die match. Like mm-hmm. if Coast to Coast yeah. didn't win this match, then the team would have to break and, and up. And that's a, if yeah. you want to watch that stuff, um, yeah. they usually, uh, the most recent episodes come up the Monday of the weekend that they're, they're on, um, on fight TV, uh, in the evening. So, so that's, so that should be on by now. Uh, okay. so that, that's, if you don't have comet TV or, 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 or your my network thing, TV or, DVR or your DVR yeah. or something, the point, I think it is here. Um, it, it is there. You can watch it pretty readily, uh, available online. And again, you know, it's, it, it's fine if it's not right away because it's all pre taped. You know, and if you're a vampire, ago. you can watch it on Fox at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> exactly. There you go. There you go. I love when I discover it by accident at four o'clock in the afternoon. Right. I, so, I, got, I got a question for man Mike, though. How many, yeah. cho- how many chops did you get at uh, NXT TakeOver? Mm-hmm. Um, two, uh, zero chops. Zero. <laughs> Wow. Zero chops. Womp, womp, womp. Sorg, I knew we should have went. That's right. Oh, we would have found you. We I offer every time. Suite. No one has ever taken me up on it. But That's right. Lucky Ray That's Road fine. Didn't I, find still, I still offer. You're lucky oh, Ray Road I'm, didn't def- find I'm definitely offering at WrestleMania <laughs> if I make my way down there. That whole Jeez. weekend. Now, would that, that, be, whole would that be a sol- solo trip or a honeymoon trip? And I'm trying. Uh, to- neither. <laughs> Birthday trip. Oh, even better. Yeah, Wrestle, WrestleMania is on my birthday this year. So oh. I went to a WrestleMania Possibly and on, I got that off my bucket birthday. list. I am not going to another one. Oh man! Oh my god! It was too. No, I went to the one when um, Cena beat The Rock at, at the MetLife Stadium. New York, yeah. Which time oh, I was yeah. there? Yes, we I was there. That was in East Rutherford, yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, we were all there. The Froze our asses week. off. Oh yep. my god! That, that was, was twice so in long, time, right? and it was so <laughs> many people. And it's worse now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still for the experience but uh we got some tips on that too hey guys if you want to see more what the hell is the deal with ray Rowe and johnny gargano and uh and uh who else uh no maybe not so much i can't remember ec3's old name we were just going over michael, Derek Bateman, no 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 yeah. michael hutter if you want to look for his indies um that's his Jason real Bateman. name <laughs> That's his real name that's, that's what it went name. by in the indies too oh okay. so if you're looking for old stuff i don't think we have uh, any of him in there, but you can go to indie wrestling dot us. Look up some of these guys. Oh, hey, we do have some some uh, EC three in here actually. 
Uh, thanks to our friends over at Prime Wrestling. There's a great before they were stars. And look, there he is right there on the cover with our friend Shima Zion, uh, Marty Bell from burr, the... Burr, burr. Thank you. Marty Bell from the uh, May Young Classic, uh, uh, the former Brody Lee. I think he's, I think his match in here might be against uh, Kevin Nash, actually. Uh, now one of the Bludgeon Brothers that I know Larry loves. Kevin Nash is a Bludgeon Brother? There no, no. <laughs> only his knees. Only his, <laughs> only his knees. <laughs> uh, but you can look up all these names. Shredder, Adam Cole, baby. With yeah, all his knee surgeries, you would think he'd be like six eight by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the if if you it, i don't know if the interview is a part of this of course you can freely see the interview uh that i know uh, uh we watch wrestling makes fun of of uh joe Dabrowski uh interviewing him eating uh ravioli uh yes <laughs> but that would be the resolution he was on also freely available on uh indie wrestling what's it called resolution resolution i like that resolution it was a big event they had it down at the nautica stage uh down on the water in cleveland these indie oh, years, these indie people they begin these nice ass names for their shows i mean man. are you ready for revengeance are you ready for november pain are you <laughs> are you making yeah, that shit up right no, now? No, no, no. These are real names. Oh these are real God. names. And they're all available at Indie Wrestling. I love US. It. Of course, there's the season's beatings. Of course, there's the holiday havoc. All that kind of stuff available. Oh, okay. uh, we so have, they borrowed some of the shit off WC. We have a lot of digital yeah. downloads, a lot of history, including yeah. best ups for like CM Punk, for uh, Cesaro, uh, the former Claudio Castagnolia, uh, the, the year one of Premier Championship Wrestling, including Johnny Gargano and a lot of other friends of the show. Uh, Matt, Matt Cross, uh, Ricky Shane Page, Gory, uh, Marty Bell on that one. And, of course, we have a new video on demand that you guys can check out. Uh, VOD, uh, you can rent these now for much cheaper, often uh, $2.99, $3.99, and uh, $4.99 for them. And they also, guys, the, we checked it out. These work on your iPhone and your iPads as well, so you don't have to download a big couple gigabyte file in order to check out these things, um, including the most the latest release, IWC's Fallout from just a couple of weeks ago, in which Jock Sampson propositions the uh, wife of the uh, uh, company's uh, promoter right there, because, uh, of course jock samson uh so a lot of fun there on those shows if you've seen my some of the um gifts from the past week of really <laughs> really really horrible table um um happenings and steel chairs uh uh david david Lawless we were talking about getting um just absolutely rocked with the steel chair at the beginning of a six-way tables match jock it was samson. insane marshall gambino uh, sexy talented dudes and all those guys officer dan murphy as we were talking about before the show as a part of this go check it out iwc fallout video on demand and so much more indie wrestling.us we'll be back with a big question followed by mayhem mania sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Guys, we are here. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorg in the uh, studios. We got a whole big crew here. We got, of course, comedian Jay Cooper joining us. Coop Troop. What's up? Troop. Uh, as well as, uh, wait, 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 where's my sweater? Billy, Billy Johnson is joining us as well. I'm back, Sorg. Where'd you find that sweet shirt? What does that say for anybody out there? Uh, I- do not disturb me while watching WWE. What does it say on the bottom? I can't see off screen. Serious injury or death may occur. What is happening? Those stick figures are being kind of lewd. I think it might be a sexual choking thing happening there. That's mixed sure. mix, mix, mix Oh, okay, okay. I see how it is. Uh, as well as mainstream, Matt has joined us. The proprietor of he's got the big board sponsored by Slice on Broadway. We just freshly <laughs> ripped it off of the pizza box. And Larry's still here, of it's course. Freshly killed by Larry, so yes. <laughs> he ripped it off the box with his bare hands. <laughs> Larry off camera, camera, along with producer Missy, Earthquake. as well as Earthquake. Bobby <laughs> FJ Town and Mad Mike on the line as well. It is time for the big question, but first, before we get to that, the big news this week is today. Actually, it was announced. Jeremy Borash, the like 15 year, he is there since the beginning. Yeah, I once shared a line for pizza at the Gathering of the Juggalos with him. Um, that's nope. my name drop for this week. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I don't know why it made me laugh so much, but it did. I keep forgetting what they were calling him. Um, it, it, I think they were calling him Justin Bieber or something. It was weird. Like wh- whatever teen star there was at the time. Because probably was, Justin Bieber, considering his initials R J B. That must be it. Yeah, no. Yeah, the Juggalos were not kind to him. They were also doing a TNA um um angle that weekend, and uh um 
Oh, Rudy Charles got a beer bottle to the head. So God bless oh. his soul. Good, good on him to see him in and WWE. That's why I that don't want to go, Sorg. No, that's the. They, don't worry, you're not in the ring and not the subject of it. You'll be fine. We got <laughs> one more year to get you there. Um, uh-huh. We're not talking about the ICP show here in Pittsburgh. And that's a whole other thing. Anyways, Jeremy Barash is going to be at, a, 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 I guess, NXT, they're saying. Somebody was saying in the chat room. Uh, yeah. Either way, he's, he's, he's nothing but good for the company. But there's only so many people left. Obviously, people popping up. You know, We didn't know Shane Helms was not in TNA anymore. EC3 just popped up. Um, it's all over the place. So my big question for you, of people who have not been... Otherwise engaged, who left from Impact Wrestling would you like to see pop up in D- WWE next? Ooh. Oh, I oh, so my many. answer Ooh. right off the top is friend of the show, DJ Z. Okay. Yep, that's a good one. Exactly. That's a really that's good one. I'm, I'm just going to call that one before anybody else gets to it. Yeah, because I was going to yeah, do that. that. Now, a, now i got to pick somebody else. Also, one. please, not before Meadville, because I know Justin Plummer was having a heart attack when Rey yes. Mysterio <laughs> came out last night, because he's booked against DJZ in Meadville at April 14th. Please get your tickets at IWCWrestling.com. Um, and after the debacle that was uh, the Hardys coming out a week before at WrestleMania, it's WWE's completely out to get this company. But anyways, so there's that. Who wants to go next? I got one. Bobby? We mentioned him earlier. He technically was in TNA. RJ City. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see it. I want to see. He he personalized an autograph for me. Yes, he did. When Rhino said, I'm not sorry about your tricycle, which Rhino didn't even do. So, Okay, refresh my memory. Who is RJ City? He was just on a recent episode of Explosion. Um, If you haven't caught him locally, you're probably not aware of him. Or if you didn't watch... What was the show? Splat a lot on Nickelodeon that he was on. Yeah, Splat a lot. Uh, yeah, he's he's the, um, also the um, what is this crafter series on on uh, Facebook? The what? Yeah, um, the cynical crafter on on Facebook yeah, that we share crafter. a lot. Okay. Um, he yeah he does a lot. I think he does a bit of improv. Also works for uh, Canadian Broadcast CBC. CBC up there. Yeah, and uh, and locally with the IWC more recently. So okay. he is not a wrestler. He's a sports entertainer. Okay, okay. So he'd fit perfectly <laughs> yeah, just, with the he's WWE. He's a light bulb went off. He's like, entertainment. Like, uh, because I was like, okay. He, you, you like him. You, you, okay. You'd be a fan. He, okay. He's pretty good. Um, also, his finishing move is when he rolls down um, the one knee pad to reveal B. Arthur <gasps> on his knee pad. And I, B. Arthur. Yeah, Wait a minute. B. Arthur. Arthur. And he delivers, From the Golden Girls. Yeah, Golden Arthur. Girls. And he delivers, his name he delivers knee Arthur. Oh, Tina seeing, had my other one. Seeing RJ City, wow. City perform this move live at an IWC show once. Sit, standing next to the Riz, I don't. I don't really rank my mark out into indie wrestling moments, but it was way up there. The second he rolls down the knee pad, and Riz and I both in unison are like "Knee Arthur!" like at the top of our lungs. <laughs> it was amazing. Bunch of nerds. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that that's pretty creative. I, I like that. All right, who wants to go next? I I have one. Yes. Um, it's gonna hurt mm. because. I love them in a different promotion. Taya. Yeah. Taya. Taya Valkyrie? I want I want Taya versus Asuka so badly I can oh, taste it. Oh jeez, yes. That would be a good match. So, I just want so Taya good. versus Asuka in an hour long match of them just beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> like, yeah, because she's not just... living up to her full potential in impact wrestling. Like she really isn't. <laughs> Like it's, <laughs> I could have told you that before she started there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I knew. They got I knew. some sweet. I knew, yeah. when they, I knew when they signed her. Like when they, she was on, when yeah. she when she did Lucha on the ground. Mm-hmm. Awesome. They do have but, some pretty sweet promo videos of her, and then it stops there. Yeah. Yep. So. That sounds like impact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this video is really cool. Wait, we got to do something in an arena in front of people. Shit. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Billy? Mine's not actually a wrestler, but I. And this is. And that's just, fine. Jeremy this, Borash this, isn't. This is just kind of kind of strange. I'd like to see Don West and Paul Heyman on a ride along. <laughs> <Just, laughs> that would we, be awesome. Can we just hire somebody oh for a ride along? <laughs> can you throw Scott DeMore in the back seat? <laughs> yes. 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 Con- con- yes. 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 <laughs> Man, I mean, if anybody's gonna if anybody's gonna sell WWE shop items, it's Don. Yeah, I was West. gonna say, is that the guy that sold swords? Did he? Sold swords. I know he he swords, he's Ken a Murphy junior rookie card. Yeah, he's the one that yeah. swam in the in the uh baseball cars on on QVC one time apparently. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, they, no. would, they would have to have their own their own show of ride along. They couldn't have they couldn't split it up in two cars. Just one car would be enough. <laughs> With all the talking back and forth. That is true. That is true. Oh, God. Side note, did anybody see the ride along commercial with the an evening with Elias? Uh, yes, yes, I did. When does that come I on? Think it pro- I, has to be tonight, right? Okay, because I, mean, I was watching that on the Yeah, I saw the commercial for that. I was like, I, I uh, wanna see it has that. To be. Do you have do you have anybody for the impact? I got a couple of people, but I mean You can come back around for a second after we're done. All right. Okay, well the first person to come to mind and I'm I hope they sign them back, uh Bobby Lashley. Okay. Because he yep. had a he had a decent run. But then they had they, they had to throw in that that WWE slash ECW bullshit, and they threw him in that where yeah, he lost the yeah. belt to Vince McMahon, and then he won it back. And I was He's just like, "Gotta be good with them, Matt." Do you remember? Were you there when we saw Bobby Lashley at the Arnold? Yeah, he, he was, was hanging out. He was chatting up some of the NXT guys. So yeah, yeah. I guess they're still on good terms. Yeah, right? I mean. When he went to Impact, at first I was a little skeptic on that, but he's gotten better in the ring, mm-hmm. and he's a much better talker in the ring. He's more comfortable talking on the mic now, and I'm thinking this you, is the perfect time you never to bring know. him in. And you never know. He could christen the next president of the United States. You don't. You have no oh, idea. Oh. <laughs> As he hits the oh, flask, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jesus. I, I just realized he had that over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um <laughs> that's another person who I, I feel bad that they never like gave her the big show odb like i'm yeah i'm sorry they, they should have she had her charisma just she was the best part of that one kurt angle movie she was in you, kurt angle movie? you've never heard Wait, of it one one. trust me you've never heard of it it's the one with sid vicious looking out a car window it, oh, it's okay. just it's just it's that one this is the they one got time Sid to show up for that yeah movie? i know they got him to show up for that at least the filming maybe they came to him you know well, there was no ban on car travel in. yeah yeah there was a, <laughs> trump hadn't gotten it was a different time ban yet yeah the best, yeah. The best Sid thing i ever saw was un, i think it was um uncensored was that when he jumped off the ropes and smashed his <laughs> and, and just smash no, his knee no, into no, like that, 10 that, pieces that wasn't the best thing you ever that's the <laughs> worst thing you've ever seen i think you're confusing the two yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> yeah. Because I could watch that like a thousand times, man, oh and, just, and just laugh. Mainstream, Matt. I, I, I'm out of people. I, I don't have any names. We have some I've in the chat room. I've not watched it. I've, I've looked room. at him, and I don't want to. <laughs> like, why, why should I insult the people who actually um, watch Impact and know some of these names? I, I do, I'm out of names. Yeah, I yeah. could say Eli Drake. I mean, I've seen him once or twice. He seems okay. So I, Eli, Eli Drake. Drake. You know what? He is good. I like him. I think Wait, WWE should no, hire him. Too. Larry, Larry, you oh, you know, one? you know, who should, you know, who should they bring? They should get. They should get the Pope to come back po- and do commentary. No, no, He's at no, least no. as good as no, Booker no, T. No, no, you know no, what's no, funny? No, no, no. You know what's? You're going in the wrong direction. It's funny that you say that because whenever I watch Impact and then you like go on on the info that you read the credits, um, they still have Pope D'Angelo De Niro on there, and I'm like, dude, he left the company like. Almost a year ago, like, why is his name still in the credits? Like, it's like for the, cre- the show, it's like the credits RWA sends me once a year that are probably way outdated on the DVD every every year. <laughs> yeah, this was like I guess before Impact signed with another company, and then yeah, they signed yeah. with another company. Yeah, so yeah. they're still living off the old contract with the names and shit. I don't uh, know. Larry, like some Canadian company owns them now. Yeah, right? Anthem, Anthem, which confuses me because Alpha Entertainment is uh as McMahon's thing. Uh, Larry, do you have an answer? Do you have any um? Um, no, I don't hate myself. I've never watched Impact. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Anyways, the chat room. Um, uh, Juan Tina Key says Eli Drink. Eli Drake did have a stint in NXT, apparently. So that'd be interesting to look back and find. Do you know, uh, uh, Tina? Do you know what his name was in NXT that we can maybe look? I don't up? think he was in NXT. I think it was like FC. Maybe FC. Some, FCW. some of that's popping up too. So you never know. Sean Rickers, she says. Sean Rickers. Okay. Yeah, S- that's his real name. S in FCW probably. S H A U N Ricker R A C K E R. I will give Impact some credit that they did take some people that WWE threw away and then they built them up. Ethan Carter. Right. And then, mm-hmm. and, and then and then they used them up as best as they could, and yeah, yeah. now they now they're ready to go back to WWE and be a big all star. All right, all right, all right. So so the rest of this we got Braxton Sutter from Tina because that Derek Bateman shit would not have worked. 
No. Pouring no, no. milk over his head. And no. That was um, fucking stupid. Brandon saying Laura Van Ness. <laughs> and um, yeah. which, we're, 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 of course, down with that. I she left, too. She left, too. She left, also. Um, yeah. She will also be uh, at IWC here in the coming months. Um, and also, Josh Matthews joining the announced team. I'm going to veto no, that one. No, I'm not, I'm not, that's no, the one no, thing where no, I'm like, no, that's no, not okay no, when I watch. No, I heard that no, he's a champion now. Oops, yeah. spoiler alert. That is not a good thing. No, no. no. I, that was one of the things when I went back to watch Impact and was like, oh, this is not, this is rough. It is rough. It, would, it, it is hard to watch. Madison Reed coming to wrestle. There you go. There you I go. would accept Madison Reed coming to wrestle. That'd be okay. Yeah. But Josh Matthews needs to stay the fuck away from the state of Connecticut. <laughs> Didn't I just see Madison Rain competing in the the Women of Honor? She's yeah, I think be- so. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. I need to I need I need to set up my YouTube subscription so I can keep up on Future Honor and Women of Honor because that's like that, that, uh, well, that's that, starting in two weeks. Well, it's it, it's starting on television well, starting in two the weeks. But oh they, yeah, that's right. They're actually they, up on TV. But they now. probably taped the shit already. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You probably know who the champion is by now. Probably uh, Ethan Page. Who? Okay, that yes. was one bright spot. Ethan Page. Hello. Collector Ethan Page, fellow collector Ethan, yes. Ethan Page is now doing a thing with um, uh, Joseph Parks Abyss, uh, the, the lawyer <laughs> mm-hmm. Abyss. It, oh, is that his real name? Abyss? It's pretty what? His brother. Is that is you that know. is that the one who plays his cousin or something? Yeah, I think so. Like he's playing mm-hmm. this like little geeky guy. It's a terrible gimmick. I don't like it. He they need to shut so, it down. But he's so good at he's it. Good though, yeah. Oh, he's God. so good at it. Um, I want him to come to IWC. They're gonna shit on that gimmick. Like man. To I can feel it. Promised. Oh, I don't think he does that in, in WWE, but but still, like he, he's too good for that. And I've seen some uh, Ethan Page here in the area as well. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anybody else in here. What oh, we should ask is who should come to Impact to save the show. That's what we. Should um, be oh no, that's about. not happening. That's not happening. That's, that's, like, but if I could choose, if you could I would choose. say Paul Heyman. I would say Paul Ricardo Rodriguez. Ricardo Rodriguez. Yes, to have him do the announcing for Alberto again. <laughs> no, because Alberto. I like shouldn't those two together. At all. Uh, Alberto should not be there at all. Well, he that, sa- he said he's coming back to WWE after his one year contract is up. He better the fuck not. <laughs> Mainstream Matt? Oh, he will. See, um, am I on? You're on. Are you okay, Larry? <laughs> Larry's watching 205 Live. Rockstar oh, Spud no. is standing next to Daniel Bryan on. I'll be shit. goddamn! I forgot about him. I forgot <laughs> uh, about him. God damn it! They making oh, him. Oh man, that's please amazing. tell me they're not making him the general manager. Oh my god, this just—he's wearing a tuxedo. I don't know why else he'd be wearing a tuxedo. He always wears a tuxedo, an ugly one too. Is he wearing like a bright colored suit? Let's see if it's a tearaway one. We're gonna see if we can start wrestling here. It's teal. <laughs> he's wearing a teal. Suit. Oh, he looks fly. It's good. <laughs> you know what? He does rock a tacky ass suit. I will give him that. It's good. It's, it's good. I forgot all about. I forgot they signed him. Yep, I didn't even yep, think about yep, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, t- perfect time for him to pop up. Oh my god! But he's like shorter than all the cruiserweights. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you don't want your GM to be taller than everybody. You know. Yeah. No, yeah. it's one hundred five live. <laughs> oh it's two gosh. foot five live <laughs> all right five on that note hey, there were some other mentions for uh ove and uh ally and ally um uh, ally did, would be great i think she did some fcw she's th- throwing some uh throwback uh pictures up oh. too. Mm-hmm. so oh. do you think that closed captioning was accurate they did yeah. not call him rockstar spud what, what did they call, they call him? him according to the closed captioning they called him drake maverick are you shitting me? <laughs> oh, that's his confirmed. name. Confirmed by Alex. No, wait, Harris. it says Rockstar Spud. Wait, confirmed. Rockstar Spud. Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick. Drake. Maverick. My name is Drake oh. Maverick. Dude, come on now. Oh, Drake man. Maverick. Oh, I love it. It's not close enough to it. a James Bond villain kind of name. That's true. That's Drake true. Maverick. That's, that's weak. Guys, He's it's not a gonna, weak name. Drake he is not going to live up to that. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, it is the time we've all been waiting all year for. <laughs> Yay. No, not yet. Why? What? Brought to us by Slice on Broadway, literally, because it's on the other side of that piece of uh, cardboard that says Slice on Broadway. That's Check right, friends. Head to Slice on Broadway right now and get your copy of the Mayhem Mania home game included with every <laughs> box of pizza you purchase at Slice on Broadway. Go there now. Check it out. So easy. You two could play at home with your friends. <laughs> But don't Marcus kick the door in. Have one of these. Yeah, don't kick the door in. There you go. Marco's not included. <laughs> then right. when you're done, rip the box open and use it as a sundial. Help us find out when the when the fucking sun is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> 
as he drinks from the flask. <laughs> Matt Carlin's. Hello. What is Mayhem Mania for the uninitiated, like Jay Cooper over here? Um, yeah, this is. Can you believe this is the fourth year of Mayhem Mania My that we're doing? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's Congratulations. A that's a lot of convoluted rules to work your way through uh, <laughs> when you're trying to remember how this works. Okay, so Mayhem Mania is kind of a, uh, for lack of a better term, it's kind of a competitive thought experiment. Uh, the goal is for us is to create the best WrestleMania card possible. Not necessarily to predict what Vince is going to do, but to perhaps enlighten and show him how amazing and incredible a card he could put together with the talent that he has on hand if he would just put his mind to it and just put a little bit more effort into it. So basically what he should do as opposed to what he's going to do. What you think he should do. Okay. You have to play by the same rules that Vince has to play by. This is not fantasy booking. This is reality booking. So okay. Dean Ambrose is on the shelf with a torn something or other, right? Right. You can't use Dean Ambrose because nope. he's hurt. Like he ain't showing up at WrestleMania. But Chris Jericho, he's not signed to any contract, even though he showed up at Wrestle Kingdom and he pops up anywhere he damn well pleases anymore. You can be sure that Vince McMahon throws enough money at Chris Jericho. He could convince Chris Jericho to show up at WrestleMania. So that's kind of a general idea. You have to So he's kind of like a wild card. You have like. to work within the bounds of reality. If Vince can do it, you can do it. Basically. Okay. All right. Um, so, yes, Missy? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, what we're going to do this week, as Sorg is now scrolling through some of our past creations. I was showing guys on video like hey, what we did. Some, we've By made way, some amazing matches. Can I point out this WLC match of the Shield versus the New Day we made last year? Yeah, I know. WLC, which means tiny labels, tiny tables, tiny chairs, tiny ladders. Yeah. You're welcome. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We've made some amazing matches. Um, I ain't gonna lie, that WLC, man, it was like it was a <laughs> shitty concept, it but was, that was the best. It was a good match though. It was the best. I ain't gonna Meanwhile, lie. Meanwhile, if I if I may so you're scrolling through two of those matches we might actually see. Yeah, yeah. Well yeah. I wanna also point out we had uh one of them that made it through was a weapons of mass destruction match between Bobby Roode and John Cena, created by Lucha Underground Co. Executive Producer Krista Joseph. Okay, yes. what the hell is a weapons of mass destruction? Well, you're match? gonna have to watch Ultimate Lucha Three, uh, where that happened. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, wait, no, yeah. it was before. Was it? Was it? That was during the season. It wasn't. No, it was during the season. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, go just just YouTube it. You'll find it. Okay. It's, it's oh, interesting. Are they Trust still on me, Netflix? Uh, that it is one. Worth a watch. I don't, I don't think, think season three is up yet. Season three is not okay. up yet, but you can definitely find it. Okay. But you can find some equally violent Lucha Underground stuff you on can Netflix also find right that now if you want to. Was that Mike? You can also find it on iTunes. Yeah, it's yes, available yes. on iTunes. That's also true. available Just on buy iTunes. that episode. Yeah. Trust me, that is $1.99. Well worth it. $1.99. Or whatever. $1.99. Just look it's it up. Worth your look money. it up. Um, bring all right, the, so bring the flask. <laughs> Trust me, bring the flask. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. I've never seen yeah. something so violent on television. <laughs> might, might, might want two flasks. Yeah, you might want a sec. Get a, get a spare. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to you. Oh uh, yeah. Um, so, so anyway, um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're, we're gonna build a, an an eight match card. Okay. So what we're gonna do tonight, since we have eight people here, very convenient. Each of us is going to create. A single match. It can be like a one-on-one match or a tag team match or a handicap match or like four-on-four. Four. Don't go making any battle royals, please. I mean, leave some toys for the rest of us. Uh, but um, we'll all create eight matches. Then as we go through the weeks leading up to WrestleMania, we'll have four or five people coming in every week. And they will be making changes to the matches that are already on the card. And they'll be able to swap people in and swap people out. But that gets a little bit complicated. So for the purposes of this week and to keep it simple for... Uh, Everyone who's kind of just jumping on board with this, we're going to create eight matches that we want to see at WrestleMania, basically. Right, Sorg? Does that sound like a good answer? Yeah. Do you feel like I've sufficiently explained this? Uh, I, think I feel so. like sometimes the more I talk, the more complicated it begins well, to the, sound. The, the thing really is, not. it gets more complicated as we go. This is the easy yeah, week. This, this, this is the easy, easy week. week. This, this is the easy, easy week. And it gets hard, and um, changes get made, and feelings get hurt. And friendship, you know matches, die. matches that don't get matches that survive a few weeks. Uh, I think if a match survives three rounds, three weeks without being changed in any way, we kind of like lock it into place, and then we, that opens a slot to create a new match, and then mm-hmm. we can play with that one too. And so that's 
part of the game basically is create a match that you think is going to be good enough that it won't be changed and it won't be but you know what i was saying about just yep. a minute ago about how the more i talk the more complicated it yeah, makes yeah, it sound yeah, it's yeah. really That's a very simple thing good, good, good yeah. example um so i think we should start with the people with the most experience and then we'll work our way back into the room okay and then we'll work our way around to this all right so that um okay i think by seeing the way someone truly devious like mike or bobby plays the game that they'll be able to uh <laughs> Get, get, a, get a better grip of it. So, yeah, um, yeah. uh, Sork, who do you want? You want to start with Bobby or Mike? Uh, let's Bobby start. has requested uh, dibs, and I will allow Bobby dibs. I got dibs. Right. Bobby, Bobby dibs. First you got like the floor. I'm gonna bring a friend in to introduce my match. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, is this gonna be a puppet? It is. <laughs> puppet FJ Town. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. What's the first match, buddy? The first match. All right, I'm not going to do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, you nah, man, you, you, already com- you already committed to it, man. Just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Commit. Commit right, to the commit. gimmick. Commit. commit. Okay. Commit to- Live the gimmick. Please right. don't say Shark Boy. Cause that- <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not Shark Boy. Okay. All right. Demon Finn Balor. Are you specifying Demon First- Finn? Versus Alistair Black. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That would be Ooh. a good one. That was the cutest, most Damn. evil way to do that. Yeah, no, that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect, Bobby. So yeah, that's that's <laughs> my match. Alex Cars, Puppet FJ Town, the only puppet we still allow on this show. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what about Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, bravo, sir. <laughs> Carlos, oh. Carlos in the wild too. It's his cousin. <laughs> oh God. Maybe ah, I should have used Carlos. No, Maybe no, Bobby. Carlos. Bobby, that was perfect. <laughs> Bobby, All that, right, was perfect. that was that's my match. All right, good job, Bobby. Um, and damn you for stealing one of the guys I was going to use. All right, um, Ooh, I'm sorry. Mike, you're up, and Sorg will be on deck. Okay, um, I have a question. This is where, where it gets are fun. we falling on yeah. Samoa Joe? Ooh, See, I haven't hurt. seen an injury report on him. Officially, When's he out to be Mania, back? I thought. Plantar fiscus. Uh, okay, All I right, thought so he was we're supposed to be okay thing? for Mania, right? Is he supposed to be okay for Mania? Is he injured? He's injured. He's supposed to be out. He's so, injured now. So I that's don't know. why he was on the panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Last I knew, he's injured through mania. Oh shit! Oh, there you go. Sorry, oh, man, wow. Mike. Okay, All we'll right. double check on. We'll see if we get an injury update. Damn it! You must operate within the bounds of the current reality. So maybe things okay. will turn around. So, um, well, I I think I have mine then. All right. Um, it's going to be a one-on-one match. Chris Jericho versus. Wait, 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 wait! Hold, 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 hold. Wait, hold it, hold it back, hold it back, what? hold it back. Damn it, Sark! I have breaking news. What? Uh Uh-oh. Before you take your finger off that piece. According to WrestlingInc.com, Samoa Joe appeared on uh, TakeOver Philadelphia pre-show. Yes. Uh, Da-da-da-da-da. Joe suffered a right foot injury during the uh, January 8th Raw. Went over Rhino, and it looks like he will be out of action until at least mid-March. Oh, so he he could make WrestleMania. Okay. All right. Well... if you All wanted right. to, if you want to roll that back, sorry about that. No, it's it's okay. Uh, we'll we'll wait till he officially comes back. Okay. I, I like okay. this better. Okay. I like this better. Maybe we um, can sneak him into the card right before WrestleMania. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. It'd be a fantastic All play right. during the Patreon in the background. So, so um, my my match now. Now the Thunder's completely ruined. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, I thought I was, I thought I was helping you. Right, Chris Jericho. We'll uh, clean it up in post. Chris Jericho Chris, versus Chris Jericho, the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, the Alpha and the Omega against E C three. Okay, that's okay. That, that's 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 a good that's a that's a good one. I think. Not good bad. Stuff. Not bad. Not the bad. promos for that Not alone bad. would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Sorgi, you're up. Uh, Miss, we'll put Missy on deck. If, if only he can keep the trouble music, but they're not going to let him have it. Right? I know. Trouble, he needs trouble, that trouble, trouble music. Trouble, that's, trouble, trouble, trouble. that's like trying to do Bobby Roode without the glorious music. It's mm-hmm. going to be rough. But you know what? The CFO um, well, guys, well, they come Roode up with good stuff. didn't have the glorious so. music, so I think he's going to be okay with whatever they give him. I, don't, I mean, man. I problem, mean, that problem, problem, problem. So, problem. <laughs> so him. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right, this is one that um, I mean, it's not like it's something that we haven't seen before, but I think it deserves to be on the big stage and probably with some modifications later on in the rounds uh, if this this lasts. But I think I definitely want to see at WrestleMania Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. That's probably yeah. going to happen. Yeah. That's probably going to happen. You think? 
I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, you think uh, you think they're going to stay I, friends? I think, you no, think they're going to stay happening, friends happening all through WrestleMania? Week, but I thought it was tonight. No, it's next weekend, SmackDown. Oh, okay. Um, I, didn't, I, I didn't watch SmackDown tonight, so. Yeah, it's happening next week on SmackDown for a number one contendership at Fastlane. Hmm. 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 Well, we definitely know it's a good match, Sorby, so good pick. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Let's let Missy go, and then, uh, Larry, you'll be on deck. All right. And we, we, we take the, the microphone arm over to producer Missy. Yes, who's off camera. Woo. Yes. So um, only mass reactions do we see on video. I'm, I'm going to take kind of the easy pickings. I'm going to say I want Asuka. I like it. <laughs> of course you do. Versus? <laughs> I'm debating between Charlotte and Ronda Rousey. And my question is, do I just put them in a three-way? Do it. Do it. All right. We put them in a three-way. Damn. Now I got to change mine. Okay. Char, char. It's all right. What is the ruling on Daniel Bryan? Missy, did you say Asuka? He, every time he talks, he says, I can wrestle. Every time he, he, there's an interview or a report about him leaving WWE, he's going to wrestle. So in my mind, if Vince really, really, really wanted to have Daniel Bryan on the card, he would do it. He yeah. would slip the the doctors I, a couple thousand dollars, and they would clear Daniel Bryan, and he would wrestle. How about we just so, do? Yes, how about just Daniel, Daniel Bryan versus Bryan. the doctors? So I would say yes. Daniel Bryan is definitely. <laughs> and if he allowed. wins, he gets to wrestle again. <laughs> like he okay. Like he gets in that case. Billy, you're on deck. Oh, shit, I didn't okay. know Bryan was on the <laughs> table. In that case, I'm okay. gonna do a okay. fatal four way match. With Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle versus William Regal versus Rockstar Spud in a GM match. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Drake Maverick. <laughs> Drake Maverick. What? Drake Maverick. Sorry. Sorry. What universe is this taking place Oh, this in? is happening right now. <laughs> it's like it's like a it's like a cool already just you, embracing that thing mania brother it's like oh, a drake maverick brother it sounds like some fucking cigarettes they're selling to like hipster kids or something <laughs> what drake maverick yeah it sounds like a character from it sounds dude, like a character from ducktales dude have you tried the drake <laughs> maverick yet actually Bro. isn't that a character from ducktales or drake mallard i think you're yeah, confusing him with mallard. Launchpad mcquack <laughs> he sounds like what he sounds like one of those old-timey radio program Characters. Oh, we'll see. Drake Maverick, that's it. I can't wait to watch Maverick, this later. I cannot live up to that name. I'm sorry. No, no. Oh god. Uh, so Billy, bad. you're up, and uh, Jay, you're on deck. Okay, I have a three-way tag match. No holds barred. I'm oh, sorry. We will oh, not be doing stipulations oh, today, oh, Billy. Okay. Yeah, three way, but don't okay. worry. You you uh, pay your money to Sorg. You'll be back for Patreon. Well, I'm, I'm at a pizza club, <laughs> so I'm back in. Um, right. <laughs> three way tag match: The Bar, Undisputed, Fish and O'Reilly, and The Revival. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, that's a good okay. one. Okay, my pants are tight. <laughs> <laughs> Not a proper response. <laughs> Not what I was looking for, Bobby. Oh, please. That's only the first time someone's going to get an erection from a possible wrestling match for this year. Uh, I would like to uh, make sure to verbally remind uh, Antonio Garza, our graphics guy, that make sure we put Scott Dawson front and center on our graphic when yes. we recreate this. Yes. Was, or he Scott will Dawson, complain. Don't forget. Scott Never Dawson forget. must be front and center. That's right. Because Scott Dawson responded to our graphics last year, he right, on, on Twitter. So Because yeah, he wasn't prominent enough so we made scott dawson like twice as big as Forever everyone else <laughs> we need to remind him every time I, I we really, put the picture i really out. thought you were gonna go war machine there billy oh I thought you were going war machine oh they're in play too I, I thought about that mm-hmm. it's amazing mm-hmm. it, 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 it's easy to forget sometimes there's so much talent under their contract mm-hmm. right well, now. I, I was thinking titles i thought i thought for you know having the bar in there with the titles and then the revival and undisputed era it's a good match billy mm-hmm Oh, it, it's it's That's a great a match. match. I just, right, I just Jay, saw you were going War Machine. You are thinking this over. You are thinking hard. I you am. understand how this thing works now, and your wheels are turning. I could see it. I the have possibilities are out there. I yeah. want I want to change the game because yeah. at every WrestleMania, at least for the last two or three, they have had a memorial under the giant memorial battle royal. Right. And I just want to predict the winner. I can't let you do that. Why not? I just want you to make a match. 
Oh, no battle royal. No battle royal. Yeah. I ain't even just if I don't name awesome anybody. Match. All right. All right. Well, if we're going to do it take like you, that. Take your winner and find someone awesome for him to fight. And then we'll add the uh, over-the-top rope challenge by stipulation later on. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then Lars Sullivan <laughs> will come up the ranks. Uh-huh. And he would challenge... St. Braun, St. Braun. <laughs> Mike, you can't do that. <laughs> I can't have wishes. Isn't Braun, isn't Braun already on there? Braun is not yeah, on the card yet. Here, on other people. I, I can't have up. wishes and dreams. I hear voices no in my head. Anyway. I got to be honest. Braun would probably kick Lars Sullivan's ass, so I'm not even going to He's like twice the one. size of Lars. <laughs> yeah, so I don't, I, I don't see that as a good match, but... Uh, you see, the problem with Lars is that we have Braun. That's the problem for Lars. Right. I think Lars is cool, but he's not Braun. Well, the problem with both of them is that we have Brock. <laughs> I don't know. Like I was just thinking Lars Sullivan, but who would be a formidable opponent for him? Someone just as big and bad as... Uh, King. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> no, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Um, If they sign him, because he's a free agent. There we go. Now we're talking. Lashley. There it is. Mm. I love it. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Now you're talking. That would be a good match. There you go. You know what I was thinking? What? That is oh. also a free agent. Walter. Who? Have you ever heard of Walter? Yeah. Indie He's guy. a big dude, too. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. I was about yeah. to say. You, you... Independence guy. He, he does PWG, stuff like that. Okay. Okay. I have got to yeah, watch oh, some God. Pro Wrestling Gorilla, man. I, oh, I don't know. Sorg, Sorg, we're going to have to get Dave and Brandon on in subsequent weeks because they're throwing out some good match choices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> they're mm -hmm. throwing out some good match choices. Yeah, yeah, might be might be good to cycle them in here. Uh, that match is what, wait, 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 what's happening this week? Uh, Dave said Tyler Bate and Cedric Alexander. I think they're... They it, might be watching 205, yeah. too, and responding to I that. So. so That's fair. Mary Mayhem Mania because they're doing they're doing a sixteen man uh, bracket tournament for really the cruiserweight championship that's going to culminate at WrestleMania. Jeez. Okay. All right. So we got to have eight matches here. So I'm going to jump in here. Um, I'm going to create a match, and uh, you know it just wouldn't be WrestleMania without the big dog. So I'm going to use Roman Reigns teaming with. Uh, you know, one of our favorite standbys, the Usos, to create the three-man Samoan team. Losing Roman two. Reigns and the Usos. And since we don't have Dean, we're going to need a little shield flavor. So Roman Reigns and the Usos versus Seth Rollins and the Authors of Pain. Oh, oh now that's a match They've already right got there. the wardrobe matched up. Tactical It'll work. Tactical vest for everybody. Tactical vest mania, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, um, oh, or no. you just threw Jason Jordan under the bus. <laughs> yeah, F Jesse he, Jordan. He where he belongs. I got other plans for him. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is what Walter looks like. Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh, that's a giant. Nice, nice. That is a, nice. That is a large individual. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, nice haircut. German German guy, too. Oh, my All right. God. All right. That's so Walter. Drake, Drake Maverick is yeah, already Walter. doing big things right now. What's with all right. these out of shape wrestlers, man, that's getting Matt. big pushes? That's Mainstream Matt, <laughs> review what are our matches for round one of Mayhem Mania? All right. Here's what we got Finn Balor versus Aleister Black, Chris Jericho versus EC3, Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, Asuka versus Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey. Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle versus William Regal versus Drake Maverick. <laughs> it's just like uh, they, they, they literally announced his name five minutes ago. And he's in Mayhem Mania. Good job. Uh, the Bar versus Fish and O'Reilly versus The Revival. Lars Sullivan versus Lashley. And Roman Reigns and the Usos versus Seth Rollins and the Authors of Pain. Next week, we'll have uh, probably have five people here and we'll start letting them make every. Each of the uh, five people that we bring on next week will have a chance to make one change to the card, either uh, changing you know one person for one person, or they can get rid of one match entirely and bring in an entirely new match with entirely two pe new people. Or if they want to like make things really weird, they can add like an extra person to some of these three ways or four ways, I make hope, a handicap match. The possibilities are kind of endless, I hope but not really. I hope they don't change yours, though, because that one... 
I like mine. That's a good one. But you know what? There's an anti-Roman bias that's been running for four years on this thing. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm 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 not I'm fine with Ro- with Roman yeah. being in the match as long as he loses. I'm I'm fine with that. Matt, have, I, I have what? a question. <laughs> Matt, Mike has a question. I'm in, ready. In all Mike. the years we've done this, have any matches from the initial eight survived? You know what? I was looking back on that in the first year that we did this. Um, someone made the Miz versus Damian Mizdow, and it was a slam dunk, and no one touched it because everyone wanted to see that match. Okay, um, and everyone okay. thought we were going to get that match, and we didn't get that match. Nope, but, I, miss, uh, I miss Damian Sandow, man. Yes, because yeah, oh that God, gimmick so they I. gave him an impact was shit. Mm-hmm. What was I that? I just wanted him to come out. And, I just wanted him to come out as fake CM Punk on the on the Halloween Raw. <laughs> that would be nice. They should have brought in AJ Lee for the freaking women's rumble. That, yeah, seriously. You know how big that would have been? They don't have a problem with her. Uh, guys, it's time to learn. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, crap. I forgot we have to do that still. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby forgot we had to learn. I was thinking. Uh, wow. Yes. Stall for time. Stall for time. Stall for time. Oh, there's Phil, a Phil, Phil. Oh, hey, add, add, but you add, have time. Add, add. You have time because I need to uh, uh, give a shout out to our friends at Fishing Without Bait. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, bait. sometimes life is hard, and picking your Mayhem Mania match is hard, and sometimes you need to just focus on yourself so you can have a clear head, and that's why our friends show uh, Fishing Without Bait helps you to one, you know, generally change things up. Um, learn a little bit about mindfulness and living out loud. Uh, and uh, this may, and, and, and I'm surprised how many pro wrestlers come up to me at shows and uh, uh, enjoy this show. Uh, check out fishingwithoutbait.com. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We've had a great a lot of great uh, musicians on uh, and comedians actually on lately. Um, um, we've had uh, Liz Victory on. Um, Jasmine Tate was just on, and uh, you know some great conversations with them about life and and kind of overcoming adversity. Check it out at fishingwithoutbait.com. Now, Bobby of J-Town, what did you learn? Oh, what? I still didn't think of one. <laughs> I yet. gave you time. I said, stall, come back to me. <laughs> All right, Billy Johnson, you have one. I got one. I love how everybody's raising their hand. The, 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 <laughs> how about the supposed biggest moment of the Royal, we- Royal Rumble weekend? They didn't even have the cameras right to show Ronda Rousey coming out with her graphics. She was already on the stage with the graphics up when they put the camera on her. The fans knew she were there before we were, us watching the network mm-hmm. knew she was there. Mm-hmm. They did the same thing with AJ Styles debut. They did. True. They did. <laughs> they did. And by the way, shout out to whoever made the Jackson Argus video where it's, it's the AJ Styles intro with uh, Roman Reigns reactions, but it's Jackson Argos coming out yeah. for the Royal Rumble <laughs> and Roman going like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, shout, shout out to the WWE <laughs> cameramen because they have been sucking the last three years. Uh, they got some new guys in there, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So it's, oh, they're missing everything. Yeah. Now. Mainstream Matt, what did it's you? It's so rough. They got to make the uh, guys are shooting their own promos now with their cell phones. Yeah, cell phones That's how yeah, bad how the cameramen that? are now. Um, oh, I learned this week that if uh, that if you're wrestling on the same weekend as Johnny Gargano, you're only going to have the second best match of the weekend because you cannot beat johnny gargano nope, i called nope. it going into the weekend i was like honey nobody's topping johnny gargano this weekend he's in the main event of this nxt takeover show yep. sure enough and you know what and my eight-year-old was watching it the following morning and i've never seen my son mark out like he did for johnny gargano during this match like he was living and dying with every near fall at the end of that match it was amazing wow. he was all in what was the reaction again to nakamura winning he was all about that too yeah. But you know what he really loved when Adam Cole showed up? Cuz he's got this very unhealthy enjoyment of the uh, undisputed era music and, really? and the whole thing. Yeah. Did he get he to does like Cole, he's doing like baby. the pose and everything. Did he get whatever. to see Adam Cole when he was here for IWC? No. No, 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 no so there's no him. connection there. I did see him yeah. when he was with Ring of Honor. And, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh jeez, yeah. Beautiful. I got to throw the ribbon and and everything. It was nice. Yeah. You got the what? <laughs> You know, the, the, the streamers, ribbons, yeah, the, the streamers. Oh, oh, the streamers. My fault, streamers. I'm like, I'm like, were you at his wedding? He's not married yet. I, <laughs> not yet. But I just found out his girlfriend yeah. um, is Rip a Baker. nurse. Uh, well, no, or, she, or no, no, no. She's, she, a, she's, she's a, a medical. She's dental. dental. That's Dentist. right. Yes. And yeah, she because I work for UPMC. So mm-hmm. yeah, so she's like close to me. Britt Baker, a uh, friend of the show. We've had her on at least twice, maybe three times yet. 
three three time three time friend of the show. Yeah, she's hot. I like <laughs> I like her. She's just our special friend. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> I can say more than I ain't scared of Bobby of J Town. I'm ready now. I learned that Jay's not afraid of Adam Cole. <laughs> I love um, Adam Cole, I learned... but I could kick his ass. I'm, <laughs> Bobby? I'm glad you said it. <laughs> Since I wasn't here last week, um, I learned that one of the greatest segments of all time happened in Ring of Honor last weekend. Hmm. Um, it was uh, Chuck Taylor getting knocked out by a streamer. What? <laughs> Did you see it? It was no. amazing. No, I need to catch up now. A fan threw a fan threw a streamer into the ring. It hit Chuck in the forehead, and he 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 was like out cold. And it pretended that it he amazing. fell. Yeah, I saw that. It was amazing on Ring of Honor, right? If I if I can yeah, do it was on Ring of Honor. Yeah, when um, he came there's, out there's with videos, um Beretta. I think Ring of Honor put it up on their page too. That like their Facebook page and stuff. Um. Also, that um somebody. Uh, tried to get a support peacock on a plane, and they wouldn't give him a seat. But Dalton Castle was all of our support peacock, so just wanted to put that out there. That there is a, that is a thing. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. What about you, Mad Mike? Um, I learned that the WWE needs to trust their talent more, and to let people who get themselves over go over um i I saw i see a lot this week like between rusev and aiden english uh johnny gargano um everyone on the mix max challenge every single person on the mix the videos that they're doing for Mm -hmm. the mix match challenge like bobby said bobby said before it's the most amazing thing that wwe is doing and it's because they they literally have nothing to do with it other than the fact that they're filming it Like, you can tell Braun and Alexa are just doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. Carmella and Biggie doing their own thing. Like, this is how wrestling worked in the Attitude Era. That's why we loved it so much. The the stars were able to channel their own gimmicks and use their own personalities to get themselves over. And I feel like we need to go back to that, and that's the reason that – some people aren't as over as they should be, and some people aren't as over as they could be. Keeping in line with that, did you hear what they're going to do on SmackDown now? No. Daniel Bryan announced it today. Um, I guess they're going to uh, have a top 10, and it's going to be ranked by the locker room. Oh. Like, the locker room is going to rank who deser- who's deserving of title shots and stuff like that based on, like, their personality how well, how well they are backstage with everybody, and they're going to vote on it, I guess. I, a, I don't a, believe wait, that, though. What? I don't believe that for a second, though. That sounds I'm... stupid <laughs> and non-scripted. That's what he said. <laughs> Is this the post-Enzo era um, that, that we're doing yeah, here? So. You know? It's just like, we're not going to let any assholes have the belt. Oh, uh, to uh, Enzo getting fired, and may he come back later someday. <laughs> Anyway, no, he's uh, gonna he's gonna end up as in uh, TNA. Yeah, oh probably. God. You know, you know yes. that's happening. He's gonna team with Alberto Del Rio because birds are a feather. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, yeah. let's not get on that topic. Jay Cooper, what, what did you learn? I learned two things. I learned that WWE still fucks up people's names. Why, why the fuck did they give Rockstar Spud Drake Maverick, man? <laughs> That's a stupid well, uh, ass right. name. Oh, that EC3 is so tweeted, stupid. EC3 tweeted that he's DM the GM. I'm okay with that. Okay. No, yeah. fuck oh. that. That is, that is so stupid. Uh, right. The second thing I learned <laughs> is that WWE is overselling Braun Strowman's strength. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why I'm <laughs> saying that. They got him flipping over these big ass trucks and buildings and shit. Meanwhile, when he tried to grab Michael Cole by his belt, he was struggling like a motherfucker. So I'm like, how are you can how can you barely carry Michael Cole by his belt while he's like hanging and wait, shit? Wait, wait, that wait, wait, wait. No, Remember no, no, how no, he no, was no, holding no, him no, with no, one no, arm? He wasn't trying to get away. Wait. Yeah. Is that your excuse? <laughs> Let me yeah. point out. Is that your excuse whoa, for whoa, the, the semi truck isn't flailing it's, its arms while it, you're yes. out carrying? And <laughs> Vince trying to catch a chicken. And it's the same principle. And 
he had just flipped the truck. He was he used all his little, energy. Yeah, it stole his. Yeah, he, he was out of energy. <laughs> he used he all was out of energy. Out of energy. <laughs> that's your story. Well, that's, that's what right. you're gonna go so with. That's right. Hours, Here's my story. Braun Strowman is not as strong as people think he is. What? what? That he cannot. Bullshit. What? Come that, on. Blasphemy. Look, I mean, if it was two fair, arms, he did get taken if it was out by a weak ass chair shot by Kane at the Rumble. <laughs> He took a lot of weak ass chair shots in that match, if I remember right. Man, what's in that flask? But <laughs> um, cherry rum. <laughs> That's what's in it. Um, but yeah, you 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 saw that though when he attacked Michael Cole and he grabbed him by his belt and dragged him. You saw he was he he could barely hold him, and I'm like, but this is the guy who flipped trucks over and fucking can lift a downstairs table. The downstairs table was light as hell, but he was like trying to. Act like uh, 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 I can flip that shit over. Yeah, whatever, man. Let me tell you something. He can catch these. They are overselling him (laughs) way too much. You trying to tell me that you could you could beat up Braun Strowman now too? Adam Cole, now Braun Strowman. (laughs) Who's next? This um, this is the show to pick fights with people. I mean, just ask Mad Mike. He's got a feud with Ray Ray that goes back years. So yeah, yeah, it's true. I'm not gonna fight Larry. I can beat Ray Ray. Now, Hanson. Oh, Oh, all right, all right. Here we go. Now, Hanson. I don't know. Because Hanson <laughs> is, is like thicker and solid and shit. I'd probably get lost in his Hansen, beard. I don't Hansen's know. Hanson's a cartwheel doing. No, no, no. Ray Rowe is the real. I've seen Ray Rowe. His do back some is as wide as the shit that's behind you right now. <laughs> I mean, he's a big dude. I've seen Hanson before. Uh, you know, yeah, I've seen Hanson too. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. He's big as hell, man. Like I said, I'd probably get lost in his beard. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something else. But, but Raymond that, Rowe. That sounds man. like a different kind of match. <laughs> Panther tight. Raymond Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond Rowe, I would just I would just play with his intelligence and shit because he doesn't look like he's that bright. I'd be like, oh shit, you got a new no, tag. No, he's a scary dude. He's, 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 he's a scary individual. He's, he's scary and he's he's pretty smart. He's scary yeah. looking. He's, he's, but I will still play on his intelligence. I'd be like, oh my God, is that a new tat? Wait, I'm dude, already though. on his back, choking him, choking him out. Make sure you put in a tweet in which uh, Jay Cooper uh, calls out Ray Rowe and the rest of the crew tells him he's wrong. Uh, <laughs> I would love <laughs> to hear the comments on, on please, that. Please, oh, please. One. I would love to see that. Ray, yeah, wrestler versus comedian. That I would be learned. Awesome. I learned if you come back from ESPN, you don't necessarily get a desk for long. <laughs> Is that a coachman <laughs> like, joke? It's a coachman joke. When they came back, I wanted them to be. <laughs> and they came back, and they were just sitting there with a monitor in front of them. Um, um, as I said last night on the wrap up, like there was some college student that didn't get, didn't get his furniture yet. Um, yeah, I wanted that to be was eating ramen. Yeah, I'd be eating ramen. That's right. Uh, so. it, it reminded me of sitting on the couch watching the live feed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry, did you get one yet? Uh, no, but I learned that Molly Holly is still a badass. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Still has a nice ass. She is too. the <laughs> toughest mom on the playground. All right, from the chat room, she we can gotta... Molly go. She can Molly go around me anytime. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, what were you saying? We learned um, <laughs> one. One Tina says that they should bring the Swamp Monster to ROH already. That's uh, for you guys on the Indies that follow Chuck Taylor. Yes. Alex Cars learned that uh, anything can happen in wrestling aside from Finn Balor going over John Cena. <laughs> yep. He should have won that match. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, Dave he should have because Dave John Cena John doesn't need a win. John Cena only loses to everybody. Doesn't he have another shitty movie to do? God damn. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Dave Fodder says. Ferdinand 2. Shit. Dave learned that uh, the best way. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a bad movie, actually. Uh, but, I didn't watch it and I never will. Well, that's what movie, that's <laughs> what movie passes for. Um, I learned, uh, they've learned that the best way for the NXT person uh, to be in a Royal Rumble is to be injured the night before. Uh, Ember Moon and Adam Cole coming out with the tape jobs, of course. Uh, Brandon, the tape job, I like that. The tape job. Uh, Brandon learned that Strowman doesn't like the announced team. First it was Cole, then it was the whole announce table. Yeah, that's true. Alex Miller learned that uh, if Gargano's wife will protect him, um, security won't stop her. True. Uh, she's signed. She's signed. She's allowed to go out there. And Wheels learned about that time. Uh, she really enjoyed AXA. Oscar. Uh, 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 oh, Oscar. I'm sorry. The spelling is. <clears throat> all right, I, uh, well, you know what? Because Asuka. that's how it sounds. Oh, I see. A U X K A. It's A S U. Okay. 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 But, you know, people, no, love, it sounded like Oscar. Oscar versus Sasha. It was a, Yeah, that was a great match last night, too. Oh, my so. gosh. Sasha almost died. 
Jeez, yes. Oh, that kick Holy to the crap. head, and then she slid and yeah, almost yeah. landed mm-hmm. on her head. That was beautiful. I love so, it. So it was good. It was a lot of fun. Jay Cooper, thank you for uh, joining us. It was a lot of fun to have you here. Oh man, can't wait to come back. Where can people fun. find you? Find more of Jay Cooper. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Jay Cooper, J A Y E C O O P E R. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter under Coop Troop Comedy. And you can find me on River's Edge every first and third Saturday, Facebook Live. Or you can go on to RiversEdgePGH.com and check us out because I have two segments, Cooper's Corner and Hood Rat of the Week. And you was there for... We, I yeah. was there for Hood, Hood Rat of the Week. And it, was, it was a lot of fun. Yes. Wait, didn't we talk about like sex robots or something? We did. Yeah. Sex yeah. robots. Sex yeah. robots. Coming to your town. Those came, those came up on Awesome Cast again today. But anyways... <laughs> It got awkward, but uh, but no, it's great. And please go check him out. Uh, I know we have a lot of people from the West Coast and in between, like I said, here on the show. Love to see those guys. Uh, If you guys get it, uh, go follow him. It's good stuff. And follow his shows over on the River's Edge as well. Uh, Let's make this thing uh, nationwide. And it's good music on there, too. Yeah, I've been putting that on. And you know what? While I'm on here, let me put this out here also. Mm -hmm. Me and Howie D. Mac, we have our own um, YouTube show called On Our Way with Howie and Jay. Mm-hmm. Um, we basically we ride around in the car and just talk shit, and I throw in laugh tracks and sound effects and music and all kinds of shit like that. So you know, it's it's a lot of fun. We got about twelve, thirteen episodes up. So check us out on YouTube. On our way with there Howie and Jay. What are you saying in this one? We own the rights to this music. Thank you for putting that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Now we're going to get pulled down. <laughs> we will rest of this music. We ain't scared of you, Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Women Vogue on Instagram. Okay, go check that out. Please, I'm going to subscribe to it right now. And, uh, and of course, uh, let's see, going around the horn here, uh, Billy Johnson. He's on the Twitter. I'm on the Twitter, BillyJ64. Uh, you'll see me at Mahoney Valley, Mahoney Valley Racecourse uh, four days a week. And good chance you'll see me at an indie show. Uh, any given Saturday. Near you. The, uh, coming up. Uh, mainstream man on the Twitter, 1T. 1T. And uh, Sorg, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, but I hope everyone stays tuned to the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube feed for the first episode of Talking Mayhem Mania. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I right? forgot yes. about that. <laughs> My special guest this week is going to be Mad Mike. Yes. Yes. Oh, Woo-hoo. man. Wait, man. Is this when we do the yes, yes. Yes. I think we should yes. all just be the audience yes. in the background. Yes. Um, no. Or is it? Or is it? Yep. 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 <laughs> I don't know which one is the most popular now. It's affirmative. Affirmative. Uh, affirmative. Larry, uh, <laughs> aka Girthquake. Uh, you can check out his Girthquake. hashtag on Twitter. <laughs> Thank did you. Just, did you call him Girthquake? Yeah, that's what Matt like it, gave him the name last week. Matt loves that word girth. I yeah, love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to, we're trying to... Kudos to Matt, man. One of the funniest guys I know. Because we don't talk about his he's... day job on here, and we're going to talk about it sometime. But in the meantime, he's Earthquake. I love it. Also, That's of so course, Mainst- <laughs> uh, Mad Mike. Yes, 483 absolutely. on the Twitters, and also he hashtag MM on the Mayhem Show. Yes, indeed. Uh, I will. I think I'm going to get back. Now that Rockstar Spud is on 205 Live, I think that's going to draw me back. His in. name is Drake is that, Maverick. I... <laughs> All right, now, now that Drake Star Spud that for Rick is on 205 Live. Drake Star Spud would have worked way better. Oh, mm-hmm. awesome. Yes, it would have, Spud. Mm-hmm. Drake Star Spud sounds like a Guardians of the Galaxy B character. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Bobby FJ Town on Twitters. At Bobby FJ Town, yep. Thank you, everybody, in the chat room. Again, you can join us live every Tuesday on our Facebook page, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you, everybody that's joined us in there. Tina, Alex, Alex, too, Dave Fodner, uh, and everybody else that's Brandon, everybody else that's popped in through the night. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Later, bitches. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. Then attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time. Then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.